at the very beginning of the episodes, I was laughing pretty fucking hard. Because when that, like, curse seal shit came up, I was dying of laughter. I was like, dude, this is North all over again. Orochimaru, where are you? Orochimaru's coming in, cursing these two. I'm like, oh my god, dude. I knew it. I knew it was, there was a connection. <laughs> I, I was laughing so hard. They're taking from the OG, like, oh but they're god. making it. They're making it great. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Anime Isika Podcast, week 12 of the winter 2021 season. On this show, we'll be discussing the current season of anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stren. Hello. Next up, we have Ku. Yo, yo. Next up, we have Justin. Hey, everybody. And finally, we have Taylor. Hello. All right. Uh, before we get started, we have a whole bunch of anime news we need to get through real quick. So first one, we got Jujutsu Kaisen Zero announced. So apparently this is what what the the prequel. This is what the author was writing in another um either online or another mm-hmm. magazine, yeah. and then that that got turned into the proper like, Jujutsu Kaisen and Shonen Jump. Yeah, it's wild. So excited for it. Yeah, I'm sure many others are. Yeah. Was there a release date for this yet? I think it said, no. it said winter, right? Yeah, it was it's winter. winter. So okay. winter. That's fine. I can wait. Lots of stuff coming in winter. Winter, which <laughs> hey. well, I'll just mention real quick too. We get uh, King Mark next part of AOT in winter, so it's good news to hear. Because I was afraid it was gonna be a movie. I'm glad it's a TV series. So, mm-hmm. but, what is but, what, what is the title of it on the anime list, David? I don't care about your shitty or website Coop, says. Coop? What, what's the what's the title of the <laughs> anime list? Oh, I don't know. I I stopped caring. So <laughs> okay. yeah. Yeah, but, something, something, part two, uh, something stupid. But I, I dude, <laughs> Mappa's gonna be busy though. Those two coming winter. Plus, we still got Chainsaw Man coming out. Oh so. yeah. Does Juj- does Jujitsu come out in winter as well for the second I think season, so. or do we not? We don't know well, yet. Well, they didn't announce anything. They didn't Nothing's been announced about a second season. Yeah. They just had the movie. Yeah. It's, okay. I can so, see. It, yeah, it, man. It's starting to seem like it's one of those where it'll be like the, they may announce like a second season after like the end of the movie. Movie, yeah. Possibly. That makes sense. Yeah. 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 And hopefully, you know, they help give them more balance so they're not, you know, killing themselves week True. over week. Yep. Yep. And then for you, Stride, we got Black Clover movie announced. Cool. Know how much you hey, that is me. Cool as well. Oh, I don't care at all. Okay. Yeah. Is this like, even though, like, it's. I would assume so. My guess okay. it would have to be. Because uh, cool. I believe it's like, I think the anime is fairly, or just about caught up to the manga, or maybe even past it slightly, I don't know. Oh. Mm-hmm. But, uh, so I would I would guess it, it would just be um, the movie for the next part of the, the arc, the, the arc, because they're not going to finish the arc that they're on right now. They're basically just beginning, like, a second half of a fight. And mm-hmm. I'm actually, like, it's fine, like, I, I, this is the first time I'm actually interested in the show, even though they've done the exact same thing, every arc. Like, it, it, just, like, what they're talking about, I'm actually more interested in, but it's it's still... Nah, it's still not good. <laughs> All right, good to know. I mean, it's it's Ooh. it's okay. Right? Let's just say it's, it's Black Clover, and I think most people get at that. Yeah, it's yeah. Hey, hey. but uh, we finally get to see Asta's mom, so she's kind of hot. Just yeah. just throwing it out there. But uh, <laughs> yes, it's weird how it's gonna be the last. Those guys' priorities it's, down. So it's, it's, it's gonna mom, be the yeah, last man. episode of the season, which hey, is kind of weird. But the, the mom, the mom's an anime. Just you know, we we can save a little section at the end for Black yeah, Clover and yeah, some we'll other those other shows. Yeah. We can do some yeah. shout outs. Yep. Yes. And then um we got another movie. We got well, actually not announced, but we got um bulk we got the release date for the, the Sword Art movie, right? The progressive? Or no oh no, yeah. that was the Hero Academia movie. That was that, that was the release date for that. We got to, um, I thought August. you said it's both, didn't Hero Academia for sure. Uh, Hero Academia we got the release date in Japan for I can't remember August if it was a 6. new trailer or if it was a new trailer and the uh, release date. I'm looking at it right now and for Sword Art. That something is. progressive, yeah. Either trailer or new visual. I don't remember where we got a release date, but I just, yeah. okay. But I will, we'll I will look for it. Yeah. No, yeah. We'll, we'll leave it at that. So, yeah, that's sort all. Of, it's such a big deal. <laughs> so that's that's all. Just like the um, the big news we we have for this week. Oh, um, yeah. No release, just teaser. No release. Okay, just teaser. Okay. No. Yep. So, so that's all the news. Um, we're move on to. Uh, to our shows, let's talk about our first show. We'll start with Hori Mia, which Ooh. we still have. We still have one more episode, so we still got next week for I guess I guess the finale. I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they're gonna adapt all the manga by now, but I 
I feel like no. Probably not. Yeah. But it's pretty much game over, right? I mean, they're they're I gonna get so. married. Uh, I mean, what what other conclusion could you possibly want other than maybe a time skip and then you see how everyone's relationship turns out? Because it looks like at the end of this episode, they're just basically showing you all the ships, right? Which yeah. by the way, I I do I do kind of like the ship between uh what's that guy? Inagi with... and oh never mind. Oh, oh no, Yanagi yeah. and the uh the older the, sister. The older sister. I was like, yeah, you know that's you know, I'm okay with that. I approve. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it looks like it shows like everyone's uh really like all the couples and uh with the whole like proposal happening at the very end as well. It looks like they just kind of rushed everything, wrapped it all up, and you know, that's it. And then the only thing that I can think of that would make sense would be uh, you know, like a time skip, unless they announce like a season two as well. Uh, but, I mean, they could just do like graduation day too. That's like another cliche, like anime thing as an ending. So, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, I think after the season, it will be interesting um, for those of us who plan to go to the source material to see like how far do they take it, and you know, does it go past high school and all this other stuff, and then what form if it does. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think you know, as we've kind of said, like really towards the tail end here, they really did, you know, start to focus on everyone else. Like, the mm-hmm. beginning, it was just more so, you know, Hori and me, and, you know, admittedly, we did get a little bit of it in the latter half of this episode, but, um, I don't know. I think at this point, like, I'm okay with kind of how they've decided to, you know, focus on the different, um, kind of relationships and everything. Um, mm-hmm. I'm fortunate to see, you know, Sakura never gonna Still. Kind of win, <laughs> even at, you <laughs> know, the herself. New Year. She's just like, oh, I'll be by myself, but that's okay, because I'm, you know, Buddhist, or whatever she said for her rationale yeah. to like you know when Sengoku was talking to her and he was like my girlfriend wants me to go over to her house but her bugs scare me and I don't know what to do and it's like she just got rejected like back off Find, like read the room uh, yeah <laughs> and it's it's funny that it was him because obviously from you know the last episode when he talked to Sakura he was the one that made her just like absolutely <laughs> break down that. in the student council <laughs> That's room <right>. so. yeah <laughs> Sengoku just, you know, taking that knife and just, just twisting it just, slowly in Sakura. You mean, you mean just keep winning? <laughs> yeah, right? That too. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, so, that's rough, man. Yeah, that is, I, didn't, that is rough. I didn't know, you know, Toru was uh, big balling with whatever his family oh, yeah. does, you know, with that house that they were, <laughs> they were showing off. So You know, it, it's okay, right? If it's an anime show, you got to have something that makes you appealing, right? You're not super hot. You're, you're not the MC. You might <laughs> right. as well be rich, right? Yeah, that's, you got to be rich. You got to have a, a housemaid yeah. that's all up in your business and whatnot. So, mm-hmm. yeah, let's just say at the end of the day, Toru's the real winner here, you know? He's he's set for life. Is he? Oh, okay. okay. I mean, out of all the MC, like of all all the characters in the show, who would you want to be? Like That's a thinking, good thinking like further ahead, right? Like he's got it in with like uh, he's got his like uh, he's not gonna be alone, right? He's not he's not the Buddhist, so uh, it's not like he's got problems with that. He's got money. He's not the hottest guy, but you know he's he's not like ugly either, so. Uh, yeah, he's he's doing okay. He's doing all right. Honestly, I was thinking about this, and I was thinking if I was if I were to date any of these guys from this show, it actually would have been him over any of the others. Before, or after you learned he was rich. Before, I okay. was thinking about it last week. Yeah, I know, right? Um, Fair point. <laughs> yeah, it was him. Go figure. I think if anything, I most kind of align myself with, and this might be funny, is uh, Iori, the green-haired guy, who's uh-huh. like at home is like very like kind of like you know, serious and focused versus when he's at school, he has kind of like this other kind of entity of like very boisterous and like outgoing. Like I definitely aligned with that in terms of my high school days and like, especially the beginning years of like, you know, trying to fit in with like different friend groups or really establishing that friend group as you right. kind of progress through your, your school years. So, okay. That's what well, I would say for me. If we're going on a list, then I'm definitely Senkoku, like, especially as a teenager, I'm definitely the guy who says <laughs> stupid shit. Cause he couldn't read the room. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, it, it makes sense, David. It would make sense. So, uh, but you know, it, it takes all kinds to make the world go around. You know, so. Um, um, I think the only thing I'll say is like I feel like this, the way the show that works, I feel like it really fits a manga. So I guess I can see why people don't really think it fits like anime format. But I still enjoyed it just because like I, I'm used to that kind of format in manga, so I didn't I didn't really mind having it in. In an anime form, so 
Yeah. No, I think definitely if this was something that I was reading like week by week when the chapters came out, like it definitely kind of fit the style of what I'd look for. It's like, you know, just a comfy kind well, of like it's a focus manga, each week. So. Oh, OK. I mean, even so, I guess then you might you probably have, you know, like a few different like scenarios that they cover in yeah. serial release then. So definitely fits a, a good vibe or a good uh, a good niche, I guess, of what people mm. are looking for. So yeah, I suppose. Um. If anything, I wish we got to learn more about uh, Hori's dad at the end of the day. He's still oh, yeah. obviously he's, Mr. He Mystery, and we character. learned that he's, like, yeah. really smart at math, apparently, when they were, you know, talking about Hori's uh, report card and mm. stuff. Um, and then I just absolutely love when Hori's, you know, talking about, like, hey, what are we going to do for, you know, Christmas dinner? And and the dad's just like, well, I don't care what you're going to do, but is Mia coming? Like, that's the only thing. And, you know, the Where's little brother's boy? like, yeah, Mia's got to come. Exactly. I'm just going to, so, you know. I love it. He's basically like, if I could, I would, like, disown you and bring him to my family. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. Other than that, I don't know. I, I felt like the final, con well, I shouldn't say final, but the conversation at the end with Hori and Mia when she's walking him back, like, I don't know. Like, I didn't really have too much like emotional attachment to it no. if any it's mm -hmm. kind of just like oh cool you both are saying the same thing mm -hmm. of like hey we both really care for each other but we haven't really said it in the right way and we're just like hey we just want to make each other happy and i was just like okay cool yeah yeah, yeah like, like well, that was my exact reaction to the entire scene i was just like all right yeah okay yeah. and then even with the, the you guys watch the after credit scene right when they're at the shrine yeah, yeah for okay. new years yeah yeah for new years and that's the same thing it's like I felt like that was just like again like a regurgitated conversation of just what they talked about, and it's like, okay, cool. But so. I mean, I might I might just save it for next week because it's not the end yet because we don't true. know how it's gonna end. Yeah, true, um, true, true. But do you think it's because they focus not just on them but on everyone in their group? That's why we didn't feel so attached to that moment. I, I think, think that definitely just adds to it. Like it just went through this whole relationship so quickly. I it, it didn't even like give me a chance to feel like I understood them or feel like they like I don't know. Have you really even put any effort into their relationship yet? Like it still feels like it's like the second day of their relationship to me. And <laughs> right. now they're getting married. And I still feel like Hori's characterization is like pretty weak. And so like oh, I totally. really I feel like oh, yeah. she hasn't evolved like whatsoever. Yeah, right. so it just feels like, like honest, honest to God, like if Toru were to like propose to Yuki next next episode, like I would feel way more towards that <laughs> from like, just like the types of characterization they've done for them. Mm. Totally unbiased, right? Totally. Well, I would actually even say the same for like Remy and Sengoku. Like, really, pretty much all the other couples, I feel like just kind of fleshed out both characters a little bit better. Whereas we learned a lot about more. Um, yeah, Mia's background and like just nothing about Hori except that she has a dad that we don't understand, um, a kink that they really just like burned into our brains, and mm. that's about it. <laughs> like, she's good yeah. at school. Like, you know, not David, but out of all the guys in this group, I hate Sengoku the most. So <laughs> I don't think he deserves Rami. Just, just throwing yeah, it out I, there. Yeah, I agree. I just like him the most as well, especially after today's episode. I was just fuming at that scene. Yeah, like, come on, bro. I mean, I just mean... Grow, grow up. You know, I'm not saying like, oh, like men can't be scared of insects or whatever, and everyone's got their phobias. But you know, seriously, you know, obviously you can grow past that because you're in high school right now. It shouldn't be that bad. And then the fact that I don't know if it might be like a like a plot device later on in the manga or whatever. But the fact that he has so much alone time now, it seems like, with uh, Sakura, I wonder if something else might be going on there sometime in the future as well, right? So I find that if, if I knew that they were spending so much time together, even though they're friends, it, it, it's kind of weird that they are. Mm -hmm. So yeah. not really liking the Senko group mm -hmm. guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder, I guess, like, with what we've seen so far, like, everything always kind of seems to... Well, besides for Sakura, of course, you know, things work out. So I am interested, like you said, Ku, like, would there be potentially some type of drama or like switch ups down the line because i don't There's know i mean obviously I, I don't want it to necessarily do that because if this show is you know doing just kind of the comfy like you know happy go lucky like get together really, it's like that's completely fine i can't really but, see it happening that way yeah uh, right because everything we've seen like it just seems like they steer very clear from that of like okay hey you know you have these conflicts from like past experiences that get mended but you never have any like current day like big big conflicts or anything that you get in like some of the other mm. uh romance shows and stuff so 
I do yeah. kind of feel like the manga might explore that a little bit more. Like, I just get the feeling that it does go into the future a bit more. Is, is like, they go to college, start their careers, and, like, life naturally kind of brings people together and tears people apart, that kind of thing. I feel I feel like the manga will go into that, but... Because it's been ongoing for 10 years, right? Or it's yep. ending in, like, after 10 years. Because, like, so. when they start, like, they still have the flip phones, because that's, you know, when they, when they started off with, and, you know, they still haven't changed it, so... Yeah. yeah true so we'll see what next next week holds in the finale and then you know yep. whichever one of us go the respective manga source we can all feed each other in on what the real details are <laughs> <laughs> true yep all right so yeah we're cool. gonna end it there for hori mia but yeah still got one more week left so we'll be back next week move on to our next show um was this still another episode of b stars or Yep, this was the last week. This is the last. Okay, so we're talk, next talk about the stars. Oof. All right, you know Taylor, I think you enjoyed this episode more than I did, so I'm gonna let you start off, but I'll I'll see what what you think. Okay, so I would actually like to start out talking about B-Stars with that scene between Lewis and um, Ibuki that we left off with last week. It was the end of mm-hmm. last week's episode. Um, I was a little bit. Well, we uh, hypothesized about what the gunshot was going to be, and indeed, it was Ibuki getting shot. And I was a little confused watching the scene. I really felt like the the one thing I hate is forced drama, Um, just stuff to happen, just just to have it happen, just to have a reaction. And that my first thought was like that that that's the only reason why he died, Um, Mm -hmm. because basically it was free that that shot him to keep him. He was holding his promise to keep Ibuki from eating Lewis, and I was like, why is he even eating Lewis? Like. Or devouring him, like is Lewis like what is Lewis's intentions? Is he leaving forever? Is he just going to help this one night? Like I just really wasn't sure what was going on with the nuance of that conversation. I don't know if you felt that way, but it was pretty important to me to really understand where they were all coming from there. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And apparently in the manga, it was explained a little bit more clearly. Um, I talked to a, a manga reader, and apparently it was very clear that Lewis's intentions were to leave the Shishigumi permanently. Yep. And in terms of Ibuki, it was supposed to be. Not the same as, but like kind of relatable to how Riz devoured Tem, where he was right. just like so overcome with emotion that he like couldn't quite handle that. Mm-hmm. And combined with like Lewis's intentions to leave, it was just like too much for him. Free had been following, so he shot him. And mm-hmm. I-, I was okay with that. I thought that all made sense. Um, and then, of course, Lewis shows up to uh, the fight between Lagoshi and Riz. And Pina's still alive, so what do you have to say about that, Koo? You scared me unnecessarily I mean, for a whole week. I, I, <laughs> I <guess>. was terrified. Because <laughs> what's really stopping you, right? There was so much foreshadowing that, you know, Pina accepted his death, right? So if you're going to try something, go ahead. And like I said, he was trying to be all sneaking about it, but he was he was horrible. He got caught. The The evidence was destroyed. And I, I don't see what the point of would be to not eat the guy when you've already done it before. And especially if the the meat is what gives carnivores their strength. And you're about to go in this crazy fight against Lugosi, right? Why wouldn't you just eat the guy and then just get it over with? Like, that part I don't really get. But Yeah, I, I was thinking about it. And whatever. I think the only thing I could come up with was that he was already one devouring deep. And he's been able to get away with that so far. I mean, mm-hmm. why, why raise the stakes? I mean, I mm-hmm. guess it's pretty much what I was thinking he might have thought. But I right. don't really understand what was the point of like covering himself with his blood. Oh, it was to kind of trick Lugosi, basically. But why? Just to fight harder, to piss him off? Like why? Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of agree with you that it was just like a little bit extra, and it sounded like that was everything that with Pina in that scene was done a little bit differently from the manga. So I don't know the details, but. Okay. I'm just happy he's alive, even if it was kind of like a little awkwardly played out. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I don't know what parts you were unhappy with. Do you want me to get straight into the logistics of the fight? Or do you have things you want to uh, say? So basically, I felt like everything about this episode was forced, especially with an ending. Oh. Like nothing really made s- Like if you really think about it, I guess it might have made sense. But I felt like... They just like shot straight to it. They didn't really give much backstory to any of the decisions that were made. Uh, the fight that occurred, I thought that was kind of 
stupid too where Lagosti all of a sudden was getting beat down and he was like oh you don't understand or value life and then he had these like butterflies or mouse fly outs and like he was able to like do like a ninja move where he disappeared from the ground came out of the air and did like a drop kick on Riz like I thought that was super weird and that didn't even do anything and the very it's just I felt like everything was a rush and like none of it actually made sense like I thought the ending was going to be completely different. The fact that the interaction between Lagosi and Lewis, uh, you know, that Lagosi just ate Lewis's leg so he can get the strength to beat Riz, but even then it wasn't really enough. It was more of the fact that their bond was what overwhelmed Riz. Like, to me, that doesn't really make sense. The only thing that I really liked about this episode was the fact that um, with the interaction that Lagosi and Lewis had, it kind of gave you a good picture of what a B-star is, right? A B-star is someone who can kind of understand and be the connection between herbivores and carnivores. And Lewis and Lagosi is definitely the B-stars uh, like of this era or whatever. Uh, so that was the only thing that I really liked, that symbolism. But otherwise, I think everything else about this episode and the finale was really weak. It was really disappointing. But hmm. I understand all of your points. I really can't understand where you're coming from. With the fight i kind of felt like i wasn't really sure if they were going to go more with with like just a straight up like sh shonen type of fight or something closer to that or if it was going to be something more like like what we got mm -hmm. and i thought that what we got was was fine i just kind of felt like it lasted a little bit too long i felt like they kind of repeated each other like repeated themselves a couple times it felt like they'd start fighting and then pause to tap chat for a little bit fight pause and chat fight pause and chat and i was just like okay 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 i would have liked to have focused more on like exactly what happened with riz at the like after the fight ended like what was his what did his sentencing consist of i would have right. loved to have seen like the drama club's reaction to finding out that news like that's the kind of stuff i was more anticipating looking into because right. i don't really think that like the strength of beast stars is in stuff like fighting um although i will say this i felt like some of the animation was really amazing but um i just don't really pretty think pretty good yeah mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I just don't really think that it's their strong suit. So I can't say that I was like, it wasn't like when I'm going into Jujutsu Kaisen, like, all right, what kind of high octane like animation are we going to get this week with this fight? I just don't, I, I know it's not going to be that. So that was fine for me. I just wanted more at the end, I think, and less of that talking, especially because like, I don't really care. <sighs> like, Legoshi is a better person than I am. Like, I don't give a shit what <laughs> Liz has to say or think or do. Mm -hmm. Like, he's, right. he, he. <laughs> He, he's he's a bad guy. <laughs> like He needs to be put away, period. And I understand that, like, he was lonely. I understand that he was misunderstood. I understand some things about him. But, like, if there's, a, like, a line of, like, what you can accept from people, like, he's crossed the line. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. so you know, I, just, just a little bit, yeah. But I liked the fact that then, yeah, it came back to Louis and Legoshi. I feel like that friendship is something that's really important to the story overall. And I feel mm -hmm. like th that trust between them is just, it just felt good. Like, it just felt really good to have right. that at the end. And I thought it was freaking hilarious <laughs> when Louis told him to wipe the blood off of his muzzle because he looked like a serial killer <laughs> when he was just yeah. trying to smile and be nice. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like, that's what this show is good at, right? The mm -hmm. the show, the writing, like, the humor, mm -hmm. like, that's what it has going for itself. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, the fight scenes are pretty cool, and like you mentioned earlier, uh, the animation was really nice, especially mm -hmm. for, like, what this is, a CGI. Mm -hmm. um, but that's not what it's known for. And then the fact mm -hmm. that you kind of just botched the ending, I'm assuming there's a season three, because this isn't the end of Beastars, right? I mean, there's not an announcement, but I really think there's going to be a third season. Right. So I feel like this is just a stepping stone for Lagosi to kind of evolve and, you know, become an adult wolf or whatever they call it in their world. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it was just it was just really disappointing because other than that symbolism, like I said, uh, none of it really made sense. You know, if if you weren't planning to either kill Riz or turn him in, right, you're going to implement your own justice on him. Uh, why did you even need to do this fight or what? Yeah. There was there was two of you. Why did you have to eat Lewis's leg to get the power to kind of like put him under control? You know, like a lot of it didn't really make sense. And I felt like the ending just made me want more because now that uh, Lagosi has a record, he's quitting school. Apparently, like him and Haru are still like close with each other, but, you know, they're still just kind of flirting and joking around. So mm -hmm. you don't really know what's going to happen. But it just leaves you wondering, like, what's going to happen next? So. For sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm really I'm really curious to see where they go with this um 
uh, what is it? The I have it written down somewhere, but like the devouring thing that he's got on his record now. Um, I was kind of upset about that because I was like, man, this is a load of bull. Like if he should be in trouble for anything, it should be just like fighting when Mm -hmm. you're not supposed to be fighting somebody to like the death or even to like extreme, like, you know, injury that's like against the law. So yeah, you should, you, you know, you should get arrested for that. But like Lewis literally asked him to eat his leg and he stopped right exactly where Lewis had asked him to leave off. Like, I just feel like that wasn't warranted to have on his, on his, on his um, record. And Mm -hmm. It sounds like this gets treated in this world like um, kind of like a sex sex offender kind of record. And that just seems yeah. really extreme for Lagoshi, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I don't I don't know what the rulings there are about like eating other animals, especially when they're still alive. But yeah, that, that stuff doesn't really make sense. You know, like I I don't get it, man. Just just make well, it simple. You know, like, why I, is it? Why are they making the plot so convoluted now? That's. I don't, I don't think they're trying it. to make it convoluted. I think they're tra- setting us up for something that's going to be a little bit more political next season. I think that's what I think that that's the reason that he got that sentencing. Um, the fact the, how he deals with it, um, mm-hmm. how like his social circle and and whatnot around him responds to it. I think all of that is going to come into play. I don't know that everybody's going to look at it and be like, oh, yeah, that was fair. I think there's going to be discussion about it. I don't know for sure. But that's where I suspect. Because where else do you really go with it from there, from where we're at, you know? True, true. But I mean, he's dropped out of school, so that angle's gone. Yeah, but I mean, hopefully there's a season three. Because like, I still yeah. like the show. I just hope that season three can kind of help salvage the finale of season two. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, we'll go from there. But yeah. yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, like I said, I, I just love that, like, like the relationship between Lewis and Lugosi, I think it's amazing. Uh, mm-hmm. I would not let any of you guys eat my leg to gain powers. So, you know, like true well, girl I mean, moment there. But to uh, be honest, though, rude. I mean, it kind of made sense because <laughs> Lewis thought of it as like his curse, right? Like it right. was like something dragging him down that haunted him his whole life. So I don't really think he even saw it as like giving something up. Well, it kind of does because what was the whole point of this season? It was for Lugosi to power up through like vegan, or I guess you can't even call it that because he ate a bug. Uh, like, like through the power of like being a vegetarian or whatever, not eating meats, he was supposed to gain enough strength uh, to justify like his beliefs are correct. Like it's the one true way that carnivores can uh, live in existence with herbivores, right? But then by letting him eat Lewis at the very end, it kind of makes all the training that he did with uh, Gohei uh, kind of pointless, right? So it to me, it made it seem like the whole middle or even the beginning of season two was kind of pointless because all that work just went in the trash. The only way he could have actually stood up to Riz was by eating meat. So so what now? Like, what what was the point? Mm. I think the point was more because, like what he said, I think he said it during the fight to Riz, which is that because they're carnivores, they're mm. supposed to use their strength to protect their or- herbivores, right? Right. And I think the whole, I felt like the whole point of him resisting meat was more so that he would never like be overcome by the urge to have to have it especially like from uh season one when they ended up in the black market it's been Mm -hmm. a while since i've watched it but i think i remember him becoming pretty like bloodthirsty kind of towards some of the meat there at some point yeah yeah right and so i think it was to overcome some of those urges so he would that wouldn't happen again or something like what happened with haru season one wouldn't happen again um and then additionally i think that like in terms of he needed that to fight Riz, I think that that is where that comes into play. He, If it was anybody else, he could have devoured Lewis there. He could have gone into that bloodlust and devoured him. But him True. and Lewis had learned to understand each other. They mm-hmm. built up this friendship for two seasons. And I think the point is to show that herbivores and carnivores can do that rather mm-hmm. than anything with him not being able to fight Riz without eating meat. But no, I, I, that's yeah, just I my interpretation. That. Yeah. Yeah. So. I don't know. It's, there's a lot in this show. Like, there's a lot that you could like. Get into. Yeah, you could nitpick at a lot of things, right? Just like, <laughs> but I mean, like I said, it's still a great show. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, season finale was kind of like lackluster on my end, but uh, hopefully they have a season three, and then it kind of makes up for all this or brings it all together. So, um, but yeah, no, that, that's that's all I really had. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So final analysis, Ku didn't love the ending, but he really loved the season. I love the season and the ending. So overall, we yeah. would recommend it. <laughs> it was like a 9 out of 10 until episode 12, and then it kind of dropped down to like an 8 or 7.5. But 
yeah, no, it's definitely worth the watch for sure. And then, like I said, if you've watched, if you read the manga, hopefully you can kind of give us more insight about what really happened there at the end here. But I'm really hoping for a season three and uh, yeah, go from there. So, all right. All right. We're in it there for B Stars. And then, Strand, who, who we want to talk a little bit about the slime, slime show? Oof. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Strand, start us off, sir. Uh, okay, so. Uh, me and Ku talked a little bit um, earlier about this, and then these are like if this if this season would have started off how this arc kind of first I guess began when the with them kind of invading or it's just setting up their their town to base to um, to attack. Even though I still think how everything just kind of went down was really dumb, but we've we've already <laughs> mentioned that once or, or once or twice. No, um, yes, but we finally actually get to see like things happen. Um, we, uh, I, I still, <laughs> I still hate like the God, like the conversation at the beginning of this episode where they're talking with the king, and they're talking about this long fucking like this long plan. They're just wasting time, and this man oh, immediately man. takes one step out of the out of the, <laughs> out of the, the tent. He gets one yeah, shot, killed. One shot. And I'm just like, I was like, uh, wow, what a waste I guess of time. The only thing I could say about that is like maybe it's like a way to build up like I don't know, just the maybe he won't die. Like <laughs> maybe no, no, not just happen. like just like just. I guess I guess how naive they are in thinking that that they stand a chance. I guess. Oh or... God. Dude, same thing with that fucking old guy that took over that guy's body. And he's just like, oh, I could take on a demon lord one shot. And then <laughs> at the beginning, where oh, at first I thought like, wow, well that was he just got just destroyed. And then later on, you know, he shows up. He shows up later. Um, um and he's fighting when he fought like that other demon. I, I forgot it was um, God. The guy even mentioned what that demon was, but I forgot what it was. Or what he was supposed to be. Uh, the Archdemon guy? Well, Archdemon, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I had to look him up because I he looks so familiar and it's like... I, yeah, something like a remember. primordial demon or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. Kind of like, yeah. The old, like the OG, right? Yeah, like, Dude, I think I was about to too. Yeah. yeah, he would have the voice of Cloud, too. Um, and then, uh, God, what is it? I also... Okay, then another like bump to like um, Rimuru's entire following... And they're just like, oh, like, like there'll be a new gift distributed to everybody. I was like, oh my god! Like, I was like, these guys are already like, fucking busted. Yeah. And they're just gonna make them even more busted. And then, um, I, I, I was gonna ask you guys, did you know, like, what, like, what the, what that one skill kept failing when uh, Rimuru was evolving? I tried oh, to write it, down like all the words. It was, from... it was like the sage, the the sage ability, like that voice that keeps giving yeah. like, Rimuru the uh, like the information. Just like that, know. that itself was trying to evolve. Mm. But then it, it couldn't until it sacrificed some other things. Sacrifice yeah. merciless. No, like, it, it, yeah. yeah, it factor it, it sacrificed like unique skill wise one will sacrifice degenerate. Yeah. Um and I kept trying to think uh have we even seen the like the degenerate like that ability or no? I, I, I think we have. I don't remember any of these skills, man. Okay. He, he just uses yeah, whatever like, just to be OP. Yes. <laughs> like a bunch of other ones like wise one evolved into ultimate skill Raphael. I have no idea what wise one was. Mm-hmm. Um the evolution of gluttony desired sacrifice merciless to execute it was just a bunch of stuff that was happening like that whole thing i think would have <laughs> it would have felt more impactful if i could have really followed like these skills and what was happening but everything was like flashing through the screen so fast i mean uh, i don't know it's like you you're paying attention to all like the the actual like skill sets and like the, the, the battle stuff and it's like for me i shouldn't be like, because they never really mentioned it otherwise like they've never they don't really go into like into detail yeah, about but, it but it's like again it. does this does any really matter like we just got yeah. by people who died so what's the point of like having mm-hmm. any tension in the show well that's like yeah that was the whole thing in the show like first when we thought that they actually maybe have followed through with deaths finally we're like oh shit maybe mm-hmm. this is like a dark turn but then, even when they just said, "Oh, there's a 3.4% chance," I was like, "It fucking might as well be 100%." Four, sir. But, yeah. but that was before oh, yeah. he was a genius, right? Before he became a sage. Oh yeah. When he yeah. was a sage, it became 100%. Yeah. So yeah, and it just happened to have like they're not enough. Uh, was it mage energy or whatever? And they just happened yep. to have two uh, demons in the back that we really knew nothing about. Yeah, <laughs> that were sense, like, right? that were used as uh, sacrifices for. For uh for the whatever like energy they needed for everybody to uh to revive, and yeah, I'm I mean, assuming... I, I I guess it could have been seen as a cop out, but uh, oh, I mean, it, like in all honesty, Here. if you want to see it as like a plot device, I guess it was necessary for all of this to occur because, yeah. like we said earlier, like we can't imagine in this show where death becomes a permanent thing. I can't imagine oh. removal like killing people permanently, right? Other than just 
uh, like absorbing them, right? Like uh, this with, moment, with, like, yeah, with, with yeah. Courtney. Uh, but yeah, now that you see that, I mean, you see that you know, Rimu is kind of mature in a sense. He's becoming more serious in this world where he's not going to be as like naive as before. He's killing people. He's you know, um, like getting revenge. He's kind of learning how the world works, and uh, I feel like it was kind of necessary for him to grow. I mean, it wasn't like a crazy development but uh i mean it's, it's something so right it was also but it was nice to finally like kind of see death and uh on one side and not have it be like reversed in some way mm-hmm. right so it's nice then, and then, like i said like it kind of sucks that they're bringing back the townspeople but i mean since Xion's a part of the group i i would gladly okay like to cop out okay so sir it's, it's fine not hey man you all. have your you have your reasons i have mine okay not so, biased at all just, just leave it at that all right <laughs> Thank but God, it, Shiona's back. Yeah, so, like, and everybody's getting a new gift or new ability. Plus, he has yeah. like another just OP fucking demon with him, uh, Arch Demon, which mm-hmm. I guess will be kind of interesting going forward because it, it seems like the Arch Demon is like there to serve, but it also feels like, um, like as long as it's like you know, like where he's killing people, but at the same time, that's not like what Rim- like what Rimuru truly is. So I wonder what kind of like what they're gonna do like the spin off on that one, unless there's something that he has to, he has to do. As being like a as as being like a new demon lord, like if it, they have if they're supposed to be killing more people, or if there's like mm-hmm. other kind of like dark deeds that need to be done for him. Well, I'm sure uh, at this point, uh, I'm sure at this point, since he's already crossed the line of taking someone's life, I don't think yeah. that's gonna be a problem anymore, yeah. right? So yeah, yeah, he, yeah, because it seems like they're already kind of like rewriting the rules in a sense with humans, where he right. was saying, oh, like don't even touch them, and now there's 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 some lines that can be crossed where it's like, okay, we'll, we'll change that rule, right? And I gotta say, like the ability to shoot like a piercing light or water through someone to insta kill them, it's a lot cooler when you do like <laughs> one or two at a time, right? Like when I got when uh when the uh the, the captain of the knights, whatever, was running out to try to like gather all his knights, oh, yeah. and he got one shot it. Like I thought that was pretty cool, right? But the way that they showcased it this episode was a lot cooler than before. Like it's a lot more menacing or cruel. I or... It was cool. I thought it was awesome. No, I mean. <laughs> Let's, let's, let's be fair. It wasn't that cool how they showcased the last episode. Oh, okay. My bad. Right. My bad. So. Yeah, but it's yeah. Basically, besides that, it was just him becoming a demon lord. He he got mm-hmm. it done with. Um, even though the sage is like cur- currently still taking over, uh, he's like uh, the sage is still like over like or taking over like Rimuru. Yeah, right it feels now. like they they merged together. You know. Yeah. So I'm not sure how uh, it's gonna work because I, I think he's called Raphael now. Raphael the Sage or whatever. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to that part then. That that okay. that flew by me. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. It's sort of it'll it'll be interesting to see, I guess, like what happens with this final episode. Even though, mm-hmm. um, I don't know who. I mean, I feel like that was like probably the fight then. Oh yeah, um, probably it. Season. I don't think there's gonna be much more to do, or I don't know who else well, to I mean, fight. Well, we still, have, we, have, we still have another season, like part two, coming in the summer. So, oh, okay. so like, yeah. again, so I, this split this part two. Yeah. yeah. Oh lord. S- split okay. core. So again, I treat this as just still one one season. So, hmm. so this will probably be like a setup then for that second half. But yep. So uh, all, I mean, yeah, yeah. These, no, these last few episodes have been awesome, but it's just, like again, like they should have cut they should have there's so much more they should have cut out at the at the beginning of this goddamn show um <laughs> it was like to show us this instead and it, it's just i don't know like it's like i mean it was like it's still like it's a show that's it's like whatever like it's it's fine i don't completely hate it but it's not like no, it's, it's just, way over it's just an, i don't know it's just an average isekai so that's that's all yeah, i'll say isekai, and that's about yeah. it so um yeah so, <laughs> that's all i really got okay i guess we'll <laughs> see we still got another episode next week that I thought, I, thought more. La- I thought this was the last one, but I guess we have one more. So yep, yep. One, more. one more. Yep. So that's it for slime, and then we're gonna skip forward lock rising again, like we always do. Um, we'll we'll go to uh, Kimo Jihen. Was this the final episode, or is there another one? It, it yeah. was. It was the final episode. Yeah, it's the final okay. episode. But uh, highly likely, we're probably gonna get a continuation. Okay, I mean, they set it up where pretty we well, ended. right? Exactly. So I have never seen such a setup for a season two. Like, I, like <laughs> I can't imagine it not getting one. Like, congratulations, just, you surprised. made it past the prologue. Here's the real Kimono Jihen. So. Yeah, no, when they did yeah. that whole title drop at the end, I was like, holy shit! Like, you know, here we actually go. Which I guess you know, you could look at it one way, or you're mm-hmm. just like, all right, that was so much build up just to see like you know the main group that we've now been introduced to. But 
now mm. knowing you know that it is expanding into kind of this larger kind of adventure um it definitely is more exciting and you know seeing that they actually took the time to build those characters whereas before when we didn't have that information it's kind of like oh you know where is this kind of kind of just drop off or mm. you mm. know things of that nature um overall though i i thought the episode was fine i mean i think it kind of still uh leans on you know what it's strong at in terms of relying as on Kabane as this just op get out of jail free protagonist where you know yeah. him and nobimaru have their team up of using nobimaru's flames to basically ignite Kabane on fire to the point of like he's just his like literal muscle tendons mm -hmm. and stuff and him kind of going you know toe to toe with yui and his maximization of the uh the null stone which gives you know him the ice abilities um but yeah, I thought it was it was a fine episode. Um, of course, you know, Akira has to come in and be... Still you know, hate that, that dude. <laughs> really? Still hate him. Even now? Even now. Yeah, he's even, I'm not a he's, fan he's, of Akira He's even either. more useless. Yeah. He's even more useless now that his brother is here. Because you, you damn well believe that you will take care of everything from now on, right? Like, Akira doesn't have to do anything. He's just there for moral support. Like, if, I, if, no. if anything, we should have learned this from the last episode. Where everyone was like... Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're kind of useless, but you're there to kind of keep us together, like, socially, you know? So, it's like... Okay, 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 okay. I can admit, all evidence suggests that you guys are completely right. But, mm -hmm. if they really wanted to do something good for his character, it could have him learn that, hey, this all happened because I've... Rel it, well, because Yui just wanted to protect me this whole time, and I relied on him to protect me. And because all of that was just the status quo for our whole lives, all of this stuff happened. So I have to mm -hmm. step up and be more proactive. No, so he I could think, go that direction. Fair. And I think that's something that with the, you know, the ending of these episodes where we see, you know, everybody from that original crew of Kabane, Akira, and... Um, uh, Shiki, you know, they're all going their separate ways that are kind of in their own ways, like you just mentioned, Taylor. Like, it's kind of going to be probably their power up kind of arcs while things are doing their things. So, to oh, your point, with like Akira going with, you know, <laughs> Yui, probably going to learn more about, you know, controlling uh, their abilities and stuff like that. And then eventually meeting up with, with Kabane, Kon, and Inugami, wherever right. they kind of end up in, in the next season here. So, uh, but no, I, in, in terms of this episode, I totally still agree with you, Ku. Like, Akira really didn't do much. You know, I expected a little bit from her when she was still stuck in the cage and she was like, oh, wait, this mist is made out of water. And I thought like, okay, maybe she's going to do something really badass. And it's just like, no, she just made like a big spike ball to destroy the cage. And yeah, I mean, she got out, it. right? Yeah. She got out, so, so so kudos to her there. Like, you know, oh, good. You know, you no, actually no, it's, got it's yourself guy, out right. of a... Oh, sorry. It's a guy. Yeah. I, yeah. Guys, I was thinking yeah. this whole time. He, <laughs> he. Yeah. I don't know why, and I just fall for the bait so hard. It's Even so at the hard. end, I, I think like he's time. wearing like a skirt, and I'm just Dude, like, and that, and that no, he I wasn't know. wearing a skirt, but that outfit that he was wearing at the end, I was like, yeah, oh, no, oh my exactly, God. yeah. At the end, it, yeah, I was just like, man, you are really like, you know, please. Like, just, uh, anybody who's watching this podcast, please know that we endorse anybody to or we support anybody wearing whatever they want, whenever they want. We, we don't care. It's just, oh yeah, I, yeah. We're, I didn't mean just... to come across that way either. Like it's just that's why I do it when I yeah, constantly sure. call Akira a she when it's like, all right. I mean, you know. I know, like, okay, to to that point, totally right. You can do whatever you want, just however you want. But when you're like getting mad at people for thinking that you're not a boy because of mm. like why like why do you think that is? And it's that outfit that makes people <laughs> confused, right? That's like me. Like it's it's a it's a it's a joke that's. Been I mean, they're many obviously times, but... the authors heavily like baited it of you know all the right. things with like being obsessed with social media and, and likes and you know kind of the cutesy like stuffed animals and everything and not that that should be you know a gender biased kind of definition at the end of the day, but they they know what they're doing. So um, yeah. no, but it definitely yeah. falls on me. So. Hopefully for season two, you know, I'll get my shit together and not continue to call uh, Akira uh, a girl. So, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Girl, girl otherwise, 2021. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, though, um, no, I was, I was pleasantly surprised about really the ending and kind of, you know, the further backdrop of, you know, Kimono Jihen with that that title drop and talking about, you know, this war that occurred between demons and humans, uh, you know, a little over a thousand years ago. So. Um, I'm interested in seeing, you know, what other stones are out there, what other demon, you know, archetypes are out there that we haven't seen yet. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. It I, has... Oh, no, go ahead. Sorry. Well, uh, uh, OK, yes. Uh, yes to all that. But I just want to I just want to touch on one thing for, like from the from earlier in the episode when they were fighting. Mm -hmm. One thing that I was a little confused about 
was this null stone. Yeah, the null stone, not the, the null stone. Um, mm -hmm. I had I had thought that like. I had thought that like he had died or something somehow, or actually, what I thought when they first when I first showed the flashback to um, Yui finding the Nullstone, I thought what had happened was Akira had died, and he found out because you know all the women had told him, oh yeah, you know, he died. We 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 lied to you. He's dead. And then I thought that like he had used the Nullstone basically to like resurrect him somehow or something, and then that was basically the only thing keeping himself powered. So then, like, when it all turned out that everything was, like, basically fine again, I got a little frustrated. It felt a little bit like the... Uh, like, yeah, the lack of consequences yeah. that's yeah. always in this... In this. I that could definitely really, see like... that if, like, yeah, you, like, missed either, like, a word or two when they were doing, like, Yui's kind of, like, um, running away from the village when they were saying, like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, you know, we never said, you know, the full kind of restrictions of what we meant when we let, you know, your brother go, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If they did do that, then yeah, this, this we'd definitely be having a completely different conversation of, you know, no consequences, everything works out at the end of the day, and and all these things. Um, I just thought it would have been really interesting. I mean, like, I mean, I guess I'm happy he's not dead. I don't want, just want people to be dead. <laughs> but like... yeah. So that's why you're useless. Makes total sense <laughs> I mean... Oh, I don't know, that God. threw me off so hard. Like, I really thought, something about the music then. I thought something bad was going to happen. And I was just so <laughs> confused for a while when he was, like, fine. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I had to say about that part. Yeah. Um, yeah. The only other thing I, I really liked is um, at the very end when Nobimaru goes to the park to find Kon to give her, you know, the mission mm -hmm. from Inari. Uh -huh. Just because every time, you know, Kon comes on, like, I don't know, I just get kind of, like, this warm, cutesy feeling because, you know, Kon's just this girl that's been, you know, obsessive with pleasing Inari. And mm -hmm. when she did, you know, me, Kabane and the others, she's really kind of, um, kind of grown in her own right of becoming her own person, not just becoming, you know, a, a servant to Inari as like the master of the, um, the Fox kind of race. Mm -hmm. Um, but I also thought it was funny of just thinking about like, what does Cohn do this entire time? Like while everybody else is going on these adventures, like I just imagine her like pouting up in that tree and just like eating fish. Basically. <laughs> yeah. I just thought it was funny when they brought her back and it's just like, what What have you been doing? <laughs> she deserves yeah. better. She deserves better. Oh, definitely. Better so I'm really sure. hoping that, you know, in these adventures with uh, Inagami and Kabane, she gets to uh, continue to grow and shine in her mm. own right. But yeah, I think otherwise, um, that's everything I had. And, you know, I know this season had kind of like a lot of ups and downs and things that mm -hmm. I felt like weren't really executed in the best way. But I think, you know, if season two does come down the pipe in the way that they really set it up to do so, mm -hmm. um, I'll probably continue watching. I'd say I I'm, I'm invested. At yeah, this point. me too. I was surprised yeah. to think that at the end of it, that I was like, well, what now? I want to know what happens next. Like, where are, where are his parents? Like, why did these stones combine? That's one thing that I really like. I was trying to think about why the two stones would connect and like, right? What the properties were for that? Like, why? They're just forming just... The, the like demon Megazord. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah. Bring yeah, all eight like... stones together. And just... <laughs> Basically, so wipe out something... humanity. Is this something I should add to my my backlog? Um, uh, wait, yeah, that's that's <laughs> tough. Yeah, I don't know. Like, well, maybe, I don't think we have enough to safely if season, say that. If season two was announced, like if season two was like guaranteed announced, then I would definitely give it a shot because, like, for some <laughs> stupid reason, this last episode actually like gave you so much hope that yeah, that something cool is about to go <laughs> out because just the last half of this episode it dropped so much lore yeah. and actually gave you like like an idea of what the premise of the show is mm -hmm. like if you know what japanese is and you're laughing at us the whole time because oh yeah jihan means war like of course that's what's going to happen like <laughs> i had no idea what kimono oh. jihan meant right oh and apparently I knew, I knew that's, kimono, that's I, why I, it's jihan called meant. yeah that's why it's called kimono jihan because it's all about the kimono jihan right so, i didn't know that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah so when they're telling us all like, oh that actually makes sense right I knew and then like man like my like beasts or like, spirits whatever so i knew it was like i think it's like it, uh it's monster like incidents monster yeah is what yeah, the like literal yeah and then they drop the back lore uh, and then there's the potential that maybe uh kabane is actually like a descendant of a very powerful like uh like chief or whatever of his yeah. bloodline of the ghouls i guess and then yeah now they gotta search the world or search out japan to like kind of figure out where yeah. like he originated from what these stones actually are for i think i'm just excited to see like more characters now too like you said with like how mm -hmm. big they've set up really this this next kind of potential arcs 
Um, mm-hmm. It really has the ability to bring in even more characters apart from from this first season. I thought like, you know, OK, hey, we see these six characters like this is what we're going to get. There's not going to be much right. more. And it's like, oh, no, there's a lot more in store. So, mm-hmm. you know, right. buckle in. Oh, yeah. of sorts. David, let's let's wait till season two comes around. Let's maybe even yeah, wait. We'll, uh, we'll get back to let's watch it. Yeah. We'll right. table right. this for right. now. Yeah, uh, but dude, like cool. honestly, out of all the shows this season, this is like the most promising one, which is mind blowing <laughs> to me. So uh... yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see what happens. Okay, I guess we'll leave it there. That that that's Kimo Jihan for this this uh, season. Move on to uh, let's go to I'm a Spider. So what? Ooh. Um, I'd say this one's a relatively quick one. You know, all it really was this week was um, Kumiko and uh, Araba, the Earth Dragon, having their final kind of fight. Um, which immediately in its own right was a, a pretty badass fight of, you know, using all their different techniques and really kind of going toe to toe with mm-hmm. each other. Um, I think the like biggest takeaway was just that even though, you know, Kumiko was really at, at many points during the fight, pushed really to like the extreme of her limits Mm -hmm. um it was interesting to see that once everything was said and done how frustrated she was in her victory when when araba had kind of just you know given up um and her being like you know why why are you giving up so easily like you know you're the strongest being in this cave and here you are you know just just kind of copping out and not valuing life and she kind of even more so talks about herself of like you know it, it it was interesting to see like somebody give up life so easily because you would think as you know any kind of living being like your life is the most important thing to you so yeah other than that that was that was pretty much the entire episode this week oh and then also it kind of maybe they're right. just debating oh, yeah, us, right but it, but it kind of solidifies the fact that you know the demon lord is kumiko, kumiko. right yeah right. so that, that's a good point you bring up and i I think, funnily enough, the reason that I didn't think it was Kumiko was, one, as we talked about last week, like the spider that Julius fought, and then as we see Kumiko in that kind of mm-hmm. artistic style. But, again, maybe I shouldn't read too much in, but I was looking back at some of our own videos, but somebody in the comments had said, oh, you know, you mixed up a character for Kumiko. And I think they were talking oh. about the Demon Lord, so that's why I was confused, and that's why I kind of got led astray, admittedly. And I'll have to look up, you know, who yeah. the commenter was to, to reach out to, you know, whoever left that comment to see, like, was that what you meant when you said, you know, that either Ku or myself had, had mixed up who we thought, oh, yeah. you know, Kumiko was? But that's why I kind of had, like, that thought in the back of my head. But, no, to your point, they completely solidified that when she was... Oh, no, 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 I wouldn't say, would say completely yet, because Earth Dragons are, like, think it's, so? not, it's not one of a kind, right? Earth Dragons are, like, there's more than one. That's true, and then she didn't but, do any name drops of Araba, right. so... And then that's the thing, like, I feel like they're trying so hard to debate you that it would kind of be too obvious at this point. And since it's in the middle of the season, maybe there's like some kind of big surprise, right? Maybe Kumiko mm-hmm. is actually dead and the Demon Lord and that white haired chick is actually like copies of the original Kumiko. Because in her mind, she does have four split uh, personalities. Oh. And then maybe somehow like okay. she gained a skill where they were able to like physically separate. Mm-hmm. But um uh, yeah, and it, it's it's also because like I don't want to get debated like we did in Attack on Titan where we thought that uh, that soldier that was lead, uh, leading Peak and I think Porky away mm-hmm. we thought that was Armin, but it was actually y- Elena with the yeah, goatee yeah. thing, right? So until it's confirmed, confirmed, we'll just assume it's it's probably no. I think I think that's fair. The show's definitely shown that not everything is what it seems from the get. Definitely kind of that uh that fake out or you know like bait that they that they're laying down sometimes so uh mm. i i totally agree with that and then um yeah i think otherwise the the very last thing that we saw was kumiko was finally um She's out, out yeah. of the cave but then we saw that the uh the mother brood spider was like all right you know <laughs> you trying to leave my cave that ain't gonna happen so i'm assuming the the next week or the weeks to come is gonna be her fighting that uh that mother spider oh yeah for sure so but yeah, no, I'm interested to see how it turns out. It's, Isn't there, it's yeah. been pretty good so far. Yeah, because yeah, they're taking like what two week break or a week break. It's not airing. Oh, next... are they? I didn't know. That. Not... I have no this... idea. So it's the next episode. I'm pretty sure it says airing on the ninth. Is what they said. So okay. a week break. I mean, yeah. uh... that makes sense. I think they released um like visual previews too of like the yeah, second season, season promo second season, yep. or second part, not second, second season part, but yeah. Um, yeah. So. Man, why don't people do this, man? Just, just, just throw it all at once. Or I'm sure you already have it like drawn out or animated or whatever. You know, just, just. Uh, no, I don't know, man. No. I don't know, I don't know uh, about that one. No, As we've I seen mean, this season, it seems like a lot of focusing well, on you know I mean, yes, crunch yes, issues. 
as you, <sighs> well, I don't know how much knowledge it is, but like uh, many times they don't finish the season before before it's like the whole they don't finish the whole thing before the season starts. They have like what ten episodes of the twelve or thirteen, so they're mm-hmm. still making the last three while the show's airing. <laughs> so makes sense. Uh, yeah, I suppose. But yeah, like we said, at the end of the day, we got a lot more. Uh... I'm a spider, so what? Coming down the pipeline for the the seasons to come. So, yep. yeah, looking forward to it. All right, so that'll be it for that. And then you guys can talk about. Wait, we, I we need to sit down for this one. Okay, wonder <laughs> wonder egg priority. Oh. I'll, I'll let somebody else yeah. open oh. it up. All right. Whoever's got them notes, yeah. speak your mind uh, now. I actually yeah, do have it. pretty detailed notes. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> yeah, hit, hit us with them. Go for it. I, I did what I, I did what I could. Um, feel free to hop in at any point mm. if I need to be corrected. I, I I did my best. All right. This week on Wonder Egg Priority, this was a head scratcher. This was a what the fuck episode. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to say for the first like five minutes, for anybody that is really sensitive to animals or animal like things being hurt. The beginning is pretty graphic. I Again, felt it was more graphic why? than last week. Hmm? Why do they keep kind of killing my animals? It, 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 <laughs> it hurt. That's how you know it's yeah, serious, man. That, I, that was brutal. Like, not, not, to, not to not to little what happened to uh, Pain, the uh, alligator. I think the turtle mm-hmm. got it much worse <laughs> right from the get go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So I mean, it seemed oh, like yeah. the turtle died in one shot, but still. I, I there was know. just something that was just like I don't know. But anyways, anyways, I digress. Just so you know, that is right there, right at the beginning of the episode. Mm-hmm. Um, and this time, the one that murders uh, Manon is another character named Dot, uh, which is obviously something similar to the another antagonist bug. killer from yeah, it's another bug, similar mm-hmm. to the one from the last episode, but not exactly the same. And she thinks she's just dandy. She thinks she's a great person, super nice, and she wants to be friends. She does not understand that what she did is fucked. Um, and then that that happened as a result of Rika. Um, I'm assuming reviving her her friend. Um, I forget her name, but the wallet friend. Mm-hmm. But yeah. we don't really see anything of Rika afterwards. She looks horrified, and then it cuts to um I walking into the house of Aka and Uda Aka, mm-hmm. and it's at night. She's kind of just like peeking through. She sees some notes in a study about Thanos and Eros, and I kind of like picked through that to see if there was really anything to glean from that and i couldn't really find anything sensical anybody have anything to add there no uh, i think like you said just the pointing out of uh thanatos and eros kind of like what yeah. they had alluded to before like this larger mm-hmm. kind of battle mm-hmm. there's mm-hmm. one little bit about uh the the two um the two mannequins this is the uh, first time i think we've seen them not in just like those chairs and they're like down there like mm-hmm. i didn't actually know that they go anywhere else <laughs> Yep. Yeah, they were, we finally got to see kind of what that uh, wonder egg, like, what's the word, like garden kind of exists of, from, yeah. like the house and everything for the more so. Yeah, we got to see them move somewhere else. Yep. But yeah, yeah, continue, Taylor. So far, so good. So Uda Aka finds I going through, um, you know, the office and he basically is like, all right, well, let me just give you our history and what happened. So he sits her down and explains that they at one him and Aka at one point were wanting to create their own AI um, creature, I guess, their own artificial intelligence person. And that was how they ended up creating uh, an AI daughter named Frill. And they basically raise her as like a normal human. Uh, They love her. They have her do all the other human things. Um, that kind of goes fine for a while until another woman comes into the mix. Her name is Azusa Hoshina, and I don't know why. Like, I felt like she was, like, targeting them. Basically, she finds them at, like, a scientific convention. I don't even remember what it was for. I don't think it was important. But she finds them there, and I thought it seemed targeted. Aka says in hindsight, sorry, Ura Aka says in hindsight that he felt like she had seemed like a nice person, but that they probably weren't, like, the best at understanding women. And then it, mm-hmm. you're kind of left to, like, figure that out for yourself. She um, apparently likes Akka, and apparently both Uda Akka and Akka like her, even though I think they're married. Does anybody they're know? Husband. They're married, aren't they? Yeah, they get, yeah. they get married. They yeah. show, like, their wedding day and stuff. No, no, no. Yeah, they ma- like, Akka marries her, but I think they mm-hmm. were married beforehand. Yeah, the, the, like, they were the, together, yeah. right? Akka and Uda Akka, yeah. Because they even said, like, something about husband at mm-hmm. some point there. And then, like, oh, I after... Well, yeah, I know it was kind of like implied and then 
after the after she comes into the picture, Frill gets jealous, and she, or at the very least, she starts to act out, and she confronts Uraaka at some point. She's like, "So, who are you more upset at? The man who let who who." The woman who seduced the man or the man who was left you and was seduced by the woman. So that happened. Um, they had a, kind of an awkward... It's very clear that, like, Frill was unhappy with the situation. She felt like she was being replaced. And then the woman becomes pregnant and it mm-hmm. gets even worse. And she ends up murdering the woman. <laughs> yeah, and, that scene uh, was so fucked, too. And she's just like, hey, you know, Frill, how's it going? And she's mm-hmm. like, oh, you know, what's up? And he's like, oh, are you ready to be a big sister? And she's just like, mm-hmm. lol, nope. And tosses, you know, hairdryer slow mo into the bath, and it's just like, God damn, like yeah. total, you know, fits in terms of like that AI, like just, you know, it reminds me of the movie Deus Ex Machina. If you guys have ever watched that, like it oh, does, just, just mm-hmm. super blurring of you know AI and like actual human like emotions, and it kind of yes. reminded me of the movie Splice from back when too. Some of the like the creepiness oh, that's a, yeah, Splice. Oh, <laughs> I like how when they made Frill, they basically they even mentioned like, yeah, we did it because like we were bored, basically. Like, mm-hmm. they, it sounded like it was just an easy thing to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, they didn't go into that too much. About yeah, like, oh, I didn't really. I didn't get at the beginning where like, <laughs> um, where Aka and Uraaka are working for that company. Is that company? It's not the same company that Nehru is at, right? Or I don't is think it? So. No, 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 no. I don't no. think so. No, right? But I just no. know like they were talking about like, oh yeah, like we were the only people that could actually do this work, and they mm-hmm. had them like under surveillance, like basically twenty four seven. So. Just mm-hmm. kind of adds more to like this, you know, kind of corporate evil that exists in this world. But anyways, back to did yeah, did thrill ever, killing uh, babies. One more thing: Did they ever like explain when they stopped surveillancing them? Because it went from they were yeah. like, being, like under surveillance for twenty four, like twenty four seven, and then they were able to just build this AI and there was like no questions asked. Yeah, I thought that was kind of weird too. But, and then they were able to get married. Or like, are they done with the project? Like, what happened? Did the company go under? I mean, they didn't really explain what happened to yeah, the company, Yeah, right? point, too, like, Hoch, you know, like, you know, is it something that because they either worked for this company or was it the fact of, like, we don't really know too much further about, like, how smart they were or, like, what they actually did to warrant, you know, kind of this merit or focus on them. Yeah. So... so. This- this whole history was very much more focused on the human drama history portion of their lives rather than mm-hmm. like the factual logistical details of, of mm-hmm. how it all yeah. happened. So yeah. hopefully we'll Makes get sense. a little bit more on that. In one episode. <laughs> well, there might be. Okay. Okay. We'll get to, we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll get to yeah, that. We'll get that. Continue. Okay. So, um, so she kills the woman and she's thrown into like a, like a, she's basically buried alive um, by Uraaka, who is very upset. Hmm. And she's locked away, and then um, you but get baby, you find the baby out survives. Yeah, yeah, baby yeah, survives. You, find, mm-hmm. you find out that the baby survives. Her name is Himari, and they start to raise this child together again. And there is a really awkward scene where Himari <laughs> wants to marry Ura Aka, or hypothesizes that if he can, you know, wait for her, because you know she she looks like like her mom. They, that he was also in love with after she she stole his lover away. I don't know. It's all really, really freaking weird. I don't understand why it has to be this, like, tangled up in each other. This doesn't seem mm-hmm. like that kind of story. This is very VC Andrews. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, the child lives, and eventually, at some point, you find out that, the like, right after that conversation, it seems like that himari dies commit suicide well, so let's not forget though the the attribute of frill where frill constantly you know puckers oh, her lips mm-hmm. and pops, pops her, her lips, lips. yeah mm-hmm. so, <laughs> like god and, damn it oh. and so when you know uraaka is having the conversation with uh hanami she yeah. does that similar mannerism yep. and he has kind of like this holy fuck like mm-hmm. how how did this happen like am i just you know overthinking it or <laughs> mm-hmm yeah, that it was, was pretty. Creepy. It was creepy. Yeah, <laughs> it was. Yeah, it was. The whole episode very, was very creepy. I felt. Um, and then so so she dies, and Uda Aka figures that she managed to do it through Dot and Hyphen, which are the two characters that we've seen in the last two in this episode and the previous episode that killed like the familiars of these of these uh, girls, mm-hmm. and we know that Frill is the one that created them, but we don't really know how. Uh, but yeah, she used them to kill her, but we don't really know like at what to what extent. Like, it, it, she it looks like she committed suicide, and that's really all that we know for sure. And I 
think that's most of what I have for my notes other yeah. than after that happens where, you know, the daughter dies and then Uraka basically assumes that it was Frill and he goes, you know, back mm -hmm. down into that basement to open up and find that she's connected to like all these computers. Um, mm -hmm. He takes or he takes Frill like basically out somewhere. Right. And we're assumed that he kills. Oh, yeah. Frill. But like, Burns are alive. Right. Because there was so fire. Supposedly, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I know we didn't see her like yeah. die, die, but mm -hmm. I mean, she's alive. Yeah, she's alive yeah. <laughs> somehow. And then, and then there's one, there's he one died. other friend that Frill created, right? So as you're saying, there's hyphen dot, and then didn't they show like one other? Like, yeah, head I actually thought they, they showed two others. Okay, it could be. Yeah, I can't remember how many were in kind mm -hmm. of like the uh, yeah, I think it was the vials together. or whatever. So you know, to yeah. conveniently match the number of MCs that we have in the series. <laughs> Right. What yeah. a coincidence. I feel I feel like mm. their names have some significance as well. Like you said of like hyphen and dot, like kind of like a Morris code type thing or something <laughs> to do with like the interwebs. Yeah. yeah. I'm waiting for comma and period next. Anyway. <laughs> so far we have a, a butterfly and a dragonfly. I think those are the two faces we've seen of these. Oh yeah, I didn't things. even think about with yeah, the second yeah. one. They did have dragonfly wings. Uh. Yeah. So then it kind of cuts back to current time. Uda Aka is still talking to Ai, and he tells her that he thinks, like, the reason that they wanted to put themselves, him and Aka wanted to put him themselves in these bodies was to continue their research because they feel that there might be something that's out there that is giving, like, an extra push to people to be committing suicide. Mm -hmm. um, some like, like, perhaps they've created that thing that's, like, the um, temptation of death or whatever they call it. And they're trying to research that, and it seems like that's affiliated with Frill. That was kind of up in the air for me. I'm not 100% sure, but that seemed to be the gist. Yep, basically, and, yeah. And then at the very, very, very end, um, we see basically all of the cast so far um, on different monitors, kind of akin to what we saw in the, like, un w when Frill was buried. She would had a bunch of monitors and, like, tape coming out of where she was buried. Mm -hmm. And it was similar to that, and we see all the different ca um, cast um, dealing with different things. Like, Rika's obviously very upset after hit what had happened to Man, and there's something going on with the other characters as well, but I couldn't really clearly see. And then it ends with I and an egg. I don't know what to say about that scene. I watched it, like, two times, and I don't know what she was doing. Does anybody else know? Uh, At the very, very end when she was, like, outside. Yeah, and, uh, just I remember let, it, but... Letting out frustration, yeah. it seems like. Um, mm, okay. Yeah. Maybe we'll know more and, next episode. Aka asked Ura Aka, like, why he wanted to tell I, and he was just like, well, because if she doesn't start building some barriers or something, she's basically just going to be completely weak against Frill. Yeah. So, uh, there's a lot so, going on. Definitely. Yeah. There is way too much going on in this episode. <laughs> Way. Yeah, especially for one yeah. for one episode to bring it all together and have you know yeah. that what we assume to be final conflict, like right. Man, Justin, I don't know how you do these summaries all the time for so many different things, especially like AOT. <laughs> that is stressful. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, um, but no, you did a phenomenal <laughs> job. Like I'm looking at my notes, like I literally had like same exact notes. So kudos for <laughs> you know giving everyone the summary this week. Um, yeah, I I don't know, you know. It, I really enjoyed what they're doing, but again, I think, you know, for all of us in the back of our head, it's kind of just like, we have one episode. Like, <laughs> and the fact that it's an anime original, chances are it's, you know, if we look at other anime originals, they don't ever really get kind of continuations. So uh, I'm just hoping That's it's a... not something where it's just like, okay, now we have to gloss over all this stuff. And we have to have this final battle with I and I somehow, you know, through the power of friendship, you know, <laughs> resuscitating all her other friends from depression so that they can fight hyphen dot comma period and you know <laughs> defeat this this greater evil so that's my fear is that i hope that doesn't happen but it'd one be episode nice to, 20 yeah. minutes oof yeah it, it, it'd be nice if, if they actually do somehow do like another season or even not, like not even like another season if they don't need another season but like they need um, another just, season just like just like a little bunch because i know they did um uh, real life where they just did like a random like they did like the first season but then they had like four extra episodes that just that was like yeah, way I remember that. on the road yeah um so the, i mean even though that like from the originals there for that one like the manga like they cut out some they cut an entire arc from the manga but anyway um even if they kind of give us more because i a lot of anime originals too i feel like they like they always rush the ending too mm -hmm. like it always seemed like they just like there's a i think was a uh where they just have so much shit that's compacted to try to fit in it it would be really nice if they did just announce the second season but i feel like 
Um, that would almost be too much with what's left. Or from what we've seen so far. I don't know what they're going to show or tell us in the next episode. Yeah. No, I definitely agree with that, too. I, I do think, like, another 12-episode season, like, they would really have to, like, start opening it up, like, yeah. much wider than just, like, Frill. But it seems yeah. like with this last episode, they made it very clear that, like, okay, hey, you know, Frill is... Well, we don't know if Frill is even, you know, Thanatos. So that's a whole other thing, too, of, like, what is Thanatos and Eros? Yeah. that Akka and Urak are, are referencing. Yeah. So I would yeah, say maybe Thanatos is probably just the name that they're giving the temptation, right? Like whatever mm, Frill, okay. or like whatever Frill is inflicting on these girls to push them to suicide. I think that might be that what they're is calling Thanatos, Thanatos. The concept right. of it. Okay. And then, uh, you know, I have to disagree though. I, I feel like with everything that they just unloaded in these past two episodes, they have more than enough content to do a season two. You think 12 episodes though? Yeah. I, I agree with you, Koo. I mean, you, th- you think about it, right? Like, you still have to figure out what's going on with Frill. Who is Thanatos? Uh, there's obviously two more uh, creatures that's going to go after I and Neru, right? And then, I don't know if you guys noticed, but it looks like uh, Akka is not a mannequin anymore. It looks like it might be that... that uh, firefly thing? Firefly thing that was, like, near uh, Uraka at the end, right? Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, right. I yeah he was just it. in the form of a firefly. Yeah, like, unless the voice came from, like, an intercom in a house, oh, right? Oh, <laughs> right? oh, oh. <laughs> well, that's kind of how like the season started, right? When I was talking to like the cicada. Remember, I was talking oh, yeah. to a bug. Yeah. Like, the oh my god! Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. The, I yeah. forgot okay. about that. Yeah, so no, like I guess I, can... sh- I guess I should have known that. Right. <laughs> so, so like they can transfer their conscious to any being that they make or whatever. So yeah, uh, yeah. So there might be a significance to that. Yeah. There's like I said in these last two episodes. I don't know why they're doing it this way, but there's so much content that you have to look at that you can definitely flesh it out for another twelve mm-hmm. episodes. That's and cool. then like they might not even finish it. Honestly, they, they because... could do some. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go. Oh no. Yeah. There, there's so many plot holes too. Oh, just that would suck. Long, that would make know? me even more upset if they just kind of really left it some open ended interpretation and like. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Like, what would would you rather have it be like open ended and then you don't know if you're gonna get that continuation, or would just you rather the, have it be? You, be you know me well enough. You, you think <laughs> yeah, I really want to be open ended? Yeah, yeah. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Let's be real. Uh, I'm too biased. With I what need, I need answers. <laughs> it can't be like what they do with Promise Neverland. I know this is an extreme, but man, <laughs> yeah. I get these vibes where it's like. To your point, there's so much that they could do, but with mm-hmm. what they have, maybe they're just like, nah, fuck it, which would be really sad to see. see yeah. I feel like I feel like if this is like the only season, I feel like they could they could cut some corners by like saying like Frill is like a uh, like Frill is controlling all of this, like all of her four like uh you know bug buddies and um whatever else. Like it, I feel like you know it, it could be one of those where you destroy Frill, you destroy like a like a big chunk you of destroy all the underlings the and stuff. Yeah, yeah, which I I hate because it's it, it, it like well actually well I guess it depends on the time but it, it could just easily cut out a lot of that could be that could be interesting of like basically no, what it, those things are it, it would make sense because you guys have yeah. to remember at the end of the day frill is just an ai right yeah and then you know once you put something on the internet like it stays on the internet forever <laughs> so maybe she did some kind of like voldemort thing where like she just split her like her consciousness to like different beings and then she's always going to be there, like right so like how do you oh, stop God. how yeah. do you stop all that's something too yeah like it. it could very much be that like they say even if they do rush it and like they have like this final battle and they, they kill kill frill and then to right. your point Koo, it could be you know this another cliffhanger now of like because she's an ai and she uploaded her conscience to the internet that could very much be like hey you know final kind of scene you see like this other monitor light up and frill is there you know doing her her pop lip noise it's yeah like, you know oh, that- It'd be a thing, right? Like this next episode is the season finale. They somehow kill Frill, and then they just like have a black screen, and all you hear oh, is man. the pop noise. It's like, oh, yeah, that would be alive. that would be that would be wild. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. so I think yeah, we just got to see what what the finale holds. And I have like two more things to say about yeah. this, which are that one thing that I remembered after watching this whole episode was that the previous episode ended too with I asking that teacher exactly what mm-hmm. happened to her friend. And we still haven't touched on that at all. So that human aspect, that more realistic, less like the stuff that's like separated from all of this craziness is still kind mm-hmm. of left unanswered. Um, which kind of leads me to like how I feel about the show in general. And like, I haven't really been worried about if there is going to be a season two or not. I've been just kind of like, holding off worrying about it until we know for sh- like see how this ends but one thing that i've been really i'd be curious to hear about from you guys is like for me i really liked 
the human aspect of this about bullying. I feel like it was telling a really good story showing like the struggles that some people go through mm -hmm. and just 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 doing a good job of it. And, and then I actually really like all of this sci-fi all of this other stuff that's been introduced in the last two episodes. But it's kind of confused me when they come together. And I don't really love the fact that I really don't like the fact that there's the implication now that there's something that Frill is doing that's pushing people to commit suicide because I kind of feel like it's undermining the normal everyday struggles that people who actually do get driven to that point mm -hmm. do by things that actually no, exist. I uh, I so, totally agree with that, actually. I think it was something that, like, I would have been completely fine if, um, you know, the show was just kind of this concept of, like, girls' suicides and kind of, you know, the importance of highlighting kind of the different scenarios of each girl and kind of these interactions that, you know, cause mm -hmm. their respective um, friends or, you know, connected individuals to why, you know, they committed suicide and what kind of, you know, social factors, you know, played into that. Um, I think alternatively, though, I have to kick myself in the foot a little bit because I feel like very early in this season, I was always like, all right, I'm waiting for my Monica moment. I'm waiting for them to just completely, <laughs> you know, pull you the did. script, <laughs> like, you know, pull the sheet out from under us and like just this greater evil to come forth. And I, I, I got that. So, <laughs> you know, damn. <laughs> Yeah, I screwed power, myself. Power is scary, isn't it, Justin? Yeah. <laughs> it definitely is, man. Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, I don't... Sometimes I have, to, I have to stop and think about what I'm going to say because I'm just scared <laughs> of my powers, you know. It's, right? It's great responsibility, so, you know, all, yeah, that, yeah. all that jazz. <laughs> but no, I, I totally agree with that. And now it's something of like, well, damn, I got what I asked for. And now it's like, okay, how, how are we going to, you know, resolve it? Yeah. So. yeah, but then to the point of Taylor, too, about the whole, like, like focusing on bullying what you can do to stop it like the impact it has on like people in everyday life and the fact that you know they had four different girls from different lifestyles right like you could totally see how bullying like impacts everyone in a sense they all um, had different issues too that yeah. yeah and then but the thing i've noticed too is like whenever they're like animes try to like display bullying and how much of an issue it is they never really fully come to a conclusion Commit how to yeah like what was the cause of it how do you fix it you know and then like yeah. you know you have a happy ending i feel like whenever bullying is evolved as a like a plot device mm -hmm. you're about to have some like messy oh. messy plots so i guess is it more so is it safe to say that like did you feel that frill kind of undermines what they were trying to do earlier in the season of yeah. like the girls yep. and their struggles because yeah mm -hmm. i mean yeah when the girls come back they're just like oh thanks for saving me and then they poof and it's like yep. Yep. oh so that makes sense yeah i totally agree I with that I just feel like it could have been like almost two really diff like two different shows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, there's true. like so much material that was introduced <laughs> in this episode that could just be in a yeah. completely different show or a spinoff or something. I don't know. And then this happened after a recap. Like, who does this? Like, <laughs> why would you completely change the direction of yeah. a show after yeah. a recap? You know, it's like and a late recap, not not like an early recap. It was a late was fucking what, recap. Episode eight yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Totally agree. Totally agree. Uh yeah. We'll I, see. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's 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 nuts. Wait, no, I, I, think was, I think it was actually episode nine. Uh, it was nine point five, I think, for the recap. Yeah, it's not skate. Yeah. Oh, uh, it may have skate. been skate too. Skate, I, I swear, had like the exact same time too. Mm -hmm. I will say though, that I think that the the creepiest moment of this episode was like after you learn all about Akka and Uda Akka's history, and Uda Akka comes back from burning Frill. We think. And sees Akka sitting in the chair outside, which is where we've already seen them sitting in that same position we always see them in. I kind of got the creeps. I was like, "Holy crap, man!" Like you guys really went through a lot, and even though it's all kind of weird, yeah, I mean, there's really, a lot of just like men. the subtleties now, yeah, of like how you yeah. tie things from earlier in the season, and now that we know more about Akka and Uraka, it's all coming together. So, and yeah, I, yeah, I just feel like the artistic direction of the show is just really phenomenal. Oh yeah, I still think they're evil, evil, evil beings. So and just... they, they, uh, this all happened because they just wanted to uh, create a daughter for the hell of it. <laughs> yeah, they're bored as hell. They got, they got, home, they got tired of each other. I mean, I think it's a fine <laughs> thing, especially when you're under surveillance twenty four seven. Like, <sighs> true. Yeah. <sighs> but we digress. All? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There's so I, much. I think we, we yeah, we could continue to talk about forever. I think it's safe to just yeah. cut it off here. And of all the sh of all the shows, this is the one where like it's the final episode. And it's just like goddamn. Like what is what could actually fucking happen? Yeah. You, okay. you guys want to make any uh any guesses? Yeah, I have no idea. I, I can't, man. No, I, I, can't. I, I don't. I don't like know. you said, with with <laughs> great power comes man? great responsibility. Um, Ku, I'm going to take your words yeah. of advice and just shut my mouth. 
But my my guess is like if we don't get a second season, that it's going to be one of those where they're going to cut the corner. They're just going to try to say like everything's connected to Frill, kill Frill, and then everything just kind of works itself out. Okay. With possibly right. an open ending, ending, open end, whatever. All right. So, well, I I want to throw out there that I'm thinking the the key thing that's going to help because I think Nehru's going to like be okay as well. Like Nehru and I, they're going to like like uh, resurrect their friend. They're going to come back, disappear, and then like comma and dots comes over or comma and hyphen or whatever comes over right and then um i feel like misaki like uh neru's friend i feel like she's gonna be a key thing to helping them figure out how to stop thanatos or frill that seems like some season two stuff though it would take so long to get there yeah no but if you think about it right when when they finish their mission their friend mm-hmm. that they're trying to resurrect comes back for like a split second Mm-hmm. And who's one of their friends? Like Kotobuki. So oh. maybe in that split second when she's revived, maybe she's like, hey, like, like, congrats on making this as far. Like, I met Frill. This is what you need to know. And then she disappears. And was then, it? like, uh, yeah. But that's what I'm guessing might happen. Essentially. But isn't Na- the person that Nehru is trying to save sister. is her sister, right? Her sister. Yeah. Oh, yeah. right, right. Her sister. Yeah. yeah. Damn it. Okay. So. There goes that there. It was good. Well, it was I, good, I, though. I, no, I think it again, it, it, it's, a, it's a testament to, like you said, Ku, there really is... A lot of stuff that they can mm-hmm. do here so mm-hmm. we shall see yeah that's yeah. all i got yeah yeah we definitely uh, we covered everything here we, yeah. we, we, we dissected we everything just covered and more apologies everybody if you don't watch you know wonder egg <laughs> but there's a lot of shit going on here yeah. but so. if she comes back a, you guys all don't, if you if, if i'm correct though like if, if koda Blue comes back and she's a key character to the solvingness hey you all we owe me here. dinner right? we have it on record no Fair you enough. all owe me dinner i'll send right? i'll bet oh. man Throw it out there, dude. This this fuck this show is just completely something else. Nuts. Yeah. It's insane. Yes, I, I guess not. Uh, David's cut, cut us off, David. Please, yeah, please. Because we still got one more week, sir. Sorry, you got one more week to air your grievances. Yeah. So we're right there for one rake. Um, move on next. Let's move on next to ReZero. Ooh. And this one, this was the finale too. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I guess my I'm thoughts on ReZero. It ended. I'm done. <clears throat> okay. So <laughs> I'm just gonna only briefly mention just like just uh the the fight with the, the bunnies is of course it was less epic than the Elsa fight. And that was an awful fight. Yeah, and... basically Beatrice and Subaru just yelling El Mina running around everywhere and then just basically them just Subaru like getting carried by sending Beatrice. them to the shadow realm. It's just like all right, I'm just gonna, you know, that warp too. them away. Yep. So. so that was definitely the weakest part I'd say of the episode for me. I, I personally really enjoyed the um the what's the word I want to use? Like the Oh my god, why can't I think of a good word for it? But basically when Beatrice and um Roswell are standing over Echidna's body in, mm-hmm. in the graveyard, um and Beatrice reunion? comes to the realization reunion, thank you. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Um, but Beatrice comes to the realization that Roswell isn't actually a descendant. Like, um, you know, I think we were told last week, he's actually the same Roswell that was just transferring his soul yeah. from body to body no, based no, on I what think, he was researching. I think it might have been his sons, right? But then, like, as he was, like, you know, producing his, his heirs, he would also transmit his, his soul into them as well and take over them, in a sense. Because when it when they talked about it, he had a uh, he had to create. Oh, true. So I guess yeah, it's just still technically capable. descendants. But I guess I more so but, took it as like he was just telling them like, "Hey, this is really important." All right. Like, yeah. Versus to your point now, like he's actually putting a part of his soul, which gives much more credence of like it is. Like, it's not Roswell's so same body, but yeah, why he would care so much and have like right. the same. I would just what like to take credit for saying that last week because it's literally the only thing I've ever gotten right in ReZero. <laughs> and I did mention that last week. So I'm I'm gonna yeah. claim that. Yeah, yeah, true, true. <laughs> and then, um, so Feels guess, good. I mean another big thing is like yeah. they're just they're just um, I guess like season whatever next season be, like season three, if we ever get it, like it's just back to the royal selection. So and yeah, saving ram. Uh, royal selection saving, saving ram, ram. Yep. yeah um learning about the door in pandora um, yes. oh yeah, oh, yeah I learning about learning, about, learning about hector which now yes. kind of like why even show hector when you didn't right. go back to him at all and like because i thought that was going to be a very you know important part to like why roswell mm-hmm. is the way that he is and it's just like I mean, oh lol mm-hmm. nope we're not going to tell you anything about that I yet. guess but, but to like, be fair mm-hmm. i know we have a lot of stuff that they'll probably come back and it'll all come full circle at the end of the the series but oh god this... i mean i, I didn't really, yeah, i didn't really so mind that they introduced here just just to set up for later seasons so i don't really mind that as much 
Yeah. Um, um, I don't know. I guess I, is it, it was interesting for me. It's just interesting how uh, I guess like you look at the first half of this. Like it was so focused on Subaru. Like we had like the whole like him, especially him and like his like his parents. That was like a big part of this. Like you know, like having to dial over again and then like and then coming in terms of his past and then this second part. I feel like a lot of it is more on Amelia. So like, definitely. definitely. They and like other characters too, so I don't know. I guess like for me, like I really enjoyed it. it. Just it just fleshed out a lot of the characters in this season. I mean, not it wasn't as like as crazy as it was in season one, where we got so many so many loops with like with the mansion and with um with uh, the the second part with the witch's cult. But I don't know. Were you guys satisfied with the season though? <laughs> All right, so I rated this season a five. It was like Ooh. right in the middle, and it hurt. It was so hard for me to figure out how to rate it. It literally was like every single from moment to moment, I either loved it or hated it, and there was just mm. absolutely no in between. So I, I, yeah. I couldn't really go with no, anything I... other than a five. But it hurt because the parts I loved were so good, like everything with Amelia's history, Justin, what you were saying about yeah. the gate and Hector, all of it was fascinating to me. No, I thought Echidna was really interesting. Sorry, go ahead. I agree with that. I was trying to remember, how did season one end? Like, we didn't get the cliffhanger of, like, Rem being forgotten until, like, the no. OVA, right? Season one, it just... It was, yeah, like, season season one, one, the first episode of the second confession. season. It was yeah. the season one, they, uh, they defeated... What was the ending of season Beetlejuice. one? Beetlejuice. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they defeated Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, and then they were, mm -hmm. like, riding off in the sunset with Amelia and uh, Subaru in a cart. Uh, they were just having, And like, that was that it, right? They didn't... Yeah, there wasn't anything, like, teaching, I don't think. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess... I would kind of agree with Taylor. Like, I, th I think I enjoyed season one more, but I think it was something that, like, I, I didn't enjoy it until I got to see the full picture at the end of the season. Um, yeah. But it, now, you know, from your guys' recollection of the ending of season one, it does kind of seem like these things where it's always more of, like, a happy-go-lucky ending, and then once we do get that next piece, it's like, oh, shit, like, here's actually what's yeah. going to go down. So for that reason, mm -hmm. I actually don't like when shows do that. I much rather would have it leave on some cliffhanger or some mm -hmm. kind of, like, well, thought-provoking I mean... thing, which... I guess, you know, we do have Hector, we do have Pandora and all these things, but the fact that it's just Amelia and Subaru dancing in the final scene, I'm kind of just like, oh, like, it's great. Subaru's becoming a knight, you know, they're continuing their relationship. But I'm just like, man, I, I needed to see, like, some ominous character just, like, pan to for a <laughs> second and be like, all right, cool. Like, I know this is, okay, I'm in. Hmm. So. Uh, I think the season is definitely the lower, lower for me. I liked it, but I don't think I liked it as much as season one. Season one had definitely a lot more stuff going on. Hmm. Well, well it has a lot of stuff going on, but it, we just it, it, they just don't go back to it. <laughs> yeah. I think that I like it. I think season one felt a little bit more palatable to me. It just there wasn't quite as much going on. It, it teased that like there were things to pay attention to and things that were coming up, but it just didn't feel. I mean, in this in this second season, we've been like hopping to different time periods we've introduced like a ton of new characters we've um there, there's just it just it was just a much more expansive world than i feel like what we saw in season one and sure. so i guess i just wanted a little bit more resolution to some of those threads to help make the next season a little bit more understandable going into it because god knows when we're gonna get it do we wait do we know is it do we know no, I no. Oh, I okay. believe they're like I think they're almost cut up to the uh, either manga or light novel, right? Oh, really? Yeah, because I, I think I think even yeah even uh, season one I think they were pretty close to being caught up. That's why we have to wait so long for season two. Yeah, that's, so I think, that's I think not good. Here. Yeah, that's yeah, like, brutal. Gonna, like there's so much introduced, <laughs> and now we're gonna forget it all before then. <laughs> I mean, we waited four or five years. What for this yeah. one? Yeah. So, uh, David, how did you feel about like core one and two? How did you feel about season two in general? I. I so enjoyed it because um I really enjoyed the witches. That's like my favorite thing about ReZero is like the lore behind mm -hmm. the witches. So seeing that that finally explained, and uh, I wish I saw more of Satelia because I also like I want to know, know about her. But like I'm so glad we got. I was actually I was surprised we saw her at all this season. I thought we were not gonna mention her until way later. But so I guess overall I just I I enjoyed season one because of the development of Subaru's character. And then mm -hmm. season two, I enjoyed more of like, like season one was like Subaru's character and more of the witches. And then season two, I like, what's it? I like, yeah, more of the, 
more of a mythos development and more of like mm-hmm. the, the history behind like like the village and and Beetle, Beetlejuice. So like I guess I guess me I, I I do agree that I guess season one is generally would be better, but I still I still enjoyed season two overall. So I'm probably like the one that has the highest like the highest praise for season two. Yeah, so according to uh, Yehu, and uh, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it wrong, but he says the light novel has enough uh, content for at least two seasons, apparently. Oh, okay, never so, mind then. Two additional yeah. seasons after this? Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Oh. Yehu in our Twitch chat. Uh, yes. Please, no. please, there are our resident ReZero expert. So thank you, Yehu. Yes. You, know, yes, thank you, you. We, you, you know, carried us through this thing. Here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to hear. Oh, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, it's. It's it's rough if if that wasn't the case because like he has mentioned they gave you so much content and they just introduced you to so many characters that for us to wait another three to five years for another season that's gonna be rough. I know you like your you like your resolution, uh, cool. I mean yeah, I mean, all all jokes aside, <laughs> like when it came down to what I think episode eight or nine of this season, I was kind of losing hope to a like fulfilling conclusion, right? And uh. I mean, I'm glad that they did finish out the sanctuary and the mansion arc, but yeah, kind of like what Justin was mentioning earlier, I was kind of hoping for more of an ominous ending to let you know that, you know, shit's still about to go down. They still have a lot to figure out, right? Pandora, Hector, like got to get Rem back, uh, the Royal Selection, um, even like the Seven Witches, like what's what's their key role in this now? Are they gone for good now that they're away from the Sanctuary? You know, you know now that we solved Echidna's thing in a sense, like are we going to go back to like Echidna's Garden anytime soon? You know, there, there's so many questions up in the air now that I don't know which direction they're going to go in. And if they do, like, say, progress down a certain route, hopefully they don't give you, like, another, like, like huge lore dump as well as to, like, a new characters and why this happened, why that happened, stuff like that. So that's my concern. But, uh, yeah, the, the ending, definitely, uh, I was really, I was really expecting more. So I was actually, I got to say, season one is a lot better. Season two just left like this bad taste in my mouth <laughs> and it's odd to say that right when it's like the right. ending is such a happy moment between subaru and amelia but i think right. admittedly as we see like this show is very dark and th- right. th- there aren't a lot of winners so it's kind of odd to see you know things go well for these yeah. characters it's not what in, in a weird for. sense <laughs> right so yeah. it's weird yeah so that's at least for me why i think it kind of ended on a a low note of sorts Mm -hmm. but yeah no if they have enough materials for at least two more seasons and hopefully we don't wait that long right like say next year or something they have a season three announcement uh you know that'll be great because i still love the story i still love the characters i just need them to actually Mm -hmm. start like fleshing out the characters or the story that they introduce so yeah, I think that for me, like even having rated it a five, like I feel like I talk so harshly about this show, but it really is just because I do really love the lore and I am really invested in the characters and I just just want it to be better. I just want or just want it to be well, <laughs> we we our, it our damn times. answers, you know, yeah. Yeah, like... it's not that we hate the show. It's just like we, we want to know what's going on. Right. Like, please, we've been good. You know, just a little bit more, sir. Yeah, I think, please. I think please. My, <laughs> we're selfish I think my, in this regard. <laughs> I think my opinion would have changed um, if we were already like, uh, if if uh, if a third season was already like, um, like a go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, if it was already confirmed to actually, yeah. I think then um, I think it would be it would be easier to not be as harsh then, just because we know that we pro- that there's a chance that we at least get more answers mm. going forward. Yeah. Definitely the third season yet and having to wait longer then it's like yeah so that, I, I think that could be uh could be a thing as well true that's that's Do all right anything else for this I, 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 I got no uh rem deserves better <laughs> I, I felt so bad with at the party you know rem's just propped up in the chair and you know rams just being the good older sister Dude. like all right I'm okay, look that... after my catatonic <laughs> when I... sister. <laughs> when, I I that, when I saw that <laughs> yeah. scene, it, when I saw that scene, it reminded me of because they, they're like everybody's having a good time and Rem's just kind of there in the back, like just kind of sleeping. And then it reminded me of the fucking uh, Sword Art Online opening. Yeah, you're gonna see where, 
where basically everybody's like laughing and have like splashing water at each other like in the, like in this house and then then you see Kirito just chilling in the back in his coma, oh in his coma. <laughs> and I just thought like man everybody's just kind of celebrating while you you got somebody that's just kind of there that needs to be saved life goes on ram it's not all about you i'm just kidding uh, I'm just, yeah uh, yeah Kirito say that's a Kirito yeah yeah anyway um but yeah, i mean but otherwise though uh other than the ending uh if we want to say look at what we have now and continue on, right? Looks like the Royal Selection is next. Uh, Roswell is now officially part of the team. Uh, sure. Subaru's oh, team yeah, because is... he has the, the covenant that he entered into. So, right. So, uh, they got, yeah, so much potential. There's a lot of things that's going to happen next. Um, uh, I just hope that they uh flesh it out properly, uh, for next season. So, uh, I don't know. Was there anything else that happened this episode other than like uh you, know, you just had the cutesy moment where like Amelia thought she was pregnant because Puck yeah, told her God. that if oh, you kiss boys, you know that's how you make a baby. Oh, yeah, that was a um, thing. But besides that, it's just like just more of a just wrap yeah. up. Yeah. And then mm. and then and, uh Roswell's apology when everybody's like apologize, Roswell, and then Amelia again being cutesy, like, hey, you guys are all like making him apologize for the wrong reason. I didn't hear him say I'm sorry. And then, you know, Roswell's like, oh, you know, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, no, I'm sorry. I got to get this out. How is Amelia better than Ram? Like, seriously? Oh, my God. No, you no, guys no, seriously no, think no, Amelia's better than Ram? Right <laughs> oh, if you kiss a boy, you have babies. Or, hey, I didn't hear you apologize to us after almost killing us. It's like, ah, if you don't, <laughs> if you don't shut your mouth. Just, just let us move Jeez. on. <laughs> I didn't think Red would have never up. said that, all right? He's, he's, it sounds way too late to say that now, sir. So. <laughs> I mean, I had to make sure we had it all out in the air, right? Okay. So just, now it's on the open. I can't keep things bottled up disagree. here. It's not good to keep things bottled up. Right. Okay. I can't all even right. disagree with you on that, Koo. Like, I love right. Amelia, and I and I dislike Ram. We all know this, but those were pretty cringe. <laughs> like, yeah, that's that's one thing. Like, like, first season, I thought comedy was just spot on. Everything that basically, like, Subaru said, it was like, that shit was just worked so well. The second season, like there's so many like there was supposed to be like con- like comedian moments. I just it was terrible. Mm. Uh, I thought there was just, it was like, really cringy, and was just nothing like the first. Oh, season. I mean, I thought Subaru was cringe first season. So I was oh, gonna was. say both. It, it's fitting because both Subaru and Amelia are like equally cringe. <laughs> True. Yeah, so they, they can together. cringe together. Yeah, yeah, they work. Yeah, you know what? Subaru doesn't deserve Rem. You know, I'm glad she didn't like end up with him. Dang. <laughs> I have such different opinions that. than you guys yeah. on all of this, but that's okay. That's fine. Yeah. Hey, I mean, we can have our like separate see. podcast hey. for continued talks about just I'm the one like season two, right. so yeah. I'm gonna not be there. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, that's it okay. for ReZero. Less oh, was it? yeah, season finale. So hopefully we get something about season three soon. Definitely. All right. And then we'll move on to our next show. We can talk about Dr. Stone. Oof. So who calls Sukasa dying? Is he... uh, man. I mean, I, I, I don't think like, any of us really called at the end of the day. It's kind of just like a damnation of Shonen of like, okay, somebody's got to die. And yeah, then right. even I, still, I just, nobody's died. I felt like Sukasa. I, yeah. I felt like Sukasa had to die just for kind of things to work out. One because he's just really had, OP. had to, even though like, yeah. I, actually, I was kind of confused. Like, I, I'm pretty sure like they actually there go the full like cold trees, but it sounded like Senku was making a grave instead of like like putting him to like the cold sleep or something but i think no he, he made a fridge oh, yeah, it's just, okay. yeah it's well at the beginning no I, I get what they would say at the beginning where he was just like you know modern technology like, we're oh, not there man. yet and like it could oh yeah like, yeah thousands yeah. upon thousands of years but him it, it almost was like hey he senku is trying to reassure sukasa that you know he's the science guy and he's even though all the like, odds are against him he's gonna make it work out but it did seem there was that like hesitation where senku's like fuck like i really yeah there was there was one pick this one there was one part where like where uh where scasa was like why are we chatting idly and Senku was like why can't we dude that was and, so good that was actually a really good oh, moment oh man that hurt yeah when Senku <laughs> was talking about like super mario and just like you know just things that you talk about <laughs> oh, with yeah. your boys but randomly then, like, when, really when you were saying, you know he's just like he's just like right sukasa and sukasa is over here like yeah so like yeah, so, that, so, so, dead. so that part i i was like i was like this is this like supposed to be like like does he so Senku actually is he actually not? I don't know. I don't know. Like, if you're a not save him. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, does he know? It kind he of felt like that. Him? Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then, yeah. and then the sister put like the the thing inside. Is like, again, like, is this supposed to be a grave? But I think, I think they're gonna go full show and actually put him in cold freeze, even though like 
that's not, that's oh not, yeah, he's he's gonna be fine. Oh, yeah. think. That's, yeah, that's, that's, okay, that, that's the I, shorter I, I, part, not not the science, because we're nobody, not there yet with science. The, nobody the one, dies. The, well, yeah. the one thing with uh, with Sukasa, I feel like um, I feel like his resurrection is not gonna happen until like the end of the like the entire series. I feel like it's gonna be uh, really, sure. I feel like because I feel like it's gonna be like one of the last things that they actually find out. So or, I would uh, say there were two or, things for me that I I really didn't like this episode. One was Yo just coming back and oh being like, God, yeah. "Hey guys, I, I, like I had him. amnesia. Yeah. I'm back." And then you know, really doing like now him. I know yeah. we probably still can't trust him, and he's probably in some way going to lead to busting out a uh, Homura and um, Hyogo out of their yeah. cages. I mean, um, but I also didn't like the thing about um, them again just being like, "Hey, we can fix everybody. We're going to put them all back together." And then you know, you now you have Yo helping them put them back together. And then furthermore, them being like, oh, Sukasa, like, you didn't really kill anybody, did you? And he's like, no, I remember all the locations yeah. and all the statues I smashed. I was like, really? Like, okay, see, that's, a, that's what I was going to ask yeah. you. It's that's like, such I don't, a shonen ass pull. Like, I don't, I don't understand yeah, Sukasa's character like, or what they're trying to do with him. Like, I don't understand like, his reasoning. Like, I don't understand what's like, what is his real motive? Like, because like, they, they, they try to make it sound like he really... I don't know, like, like that's right. Uh, He's in cold right now. His his character was already pretty weak as like a very one dimensional. Like I want to be the strongest, but what they're doing now is making it even weaker. Like like and for me, it's like at the very least, at least I like, commit to him like being like like yes, I want to kill like the adults because I want to live. I, I mean that was like a good enough justification on like for for him like just say like I want to live in a world of adults. I could have bought that, but then like now they're just being wishy washy with him. So like I really don't get like. Well, they're trying to do with this character, like try and make him yeah, more sympathetic it, yeah. or something. So yeah, that's my, like that's like my main thing. It's like I don't understand what they're trying to do with this casa. I remember at the beginning of the episode too, where everybody was celebrating, but nobody was actually talking about anything about Sukasa. And I felt like I was like, okay, did he just die? And then they just kind of passed like passed over him because it went it was it was a while before they actually went to Sukasa, like showing him in the cave. Yeah, like I just thought they, I just I just thought maybe he died or <laughs> just moved on or he. It, it was no, just it was just fair. a really weird um, kind of like beginning that they just kind of showed us Sukasa. Uh, I just can't believe that he's dying, but uh, was it Yukio or Ukio? Hey, he, I, he was able to survive. Like, oh yeah, he, yeah, he was shot. Oh, yeah, fine. getting like the spear to the. Yeah, it's like nothing ever happened with him. Yeah, uh, it's like, yeah. What the fuck, dude. Yoga's still alive, which is oh, like, another I thing. Mean, There's like, always sh- a sh- 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 breaking sh- out. Shonen Patrol, yeah, Shonen Patrol. He's, he's definitely escaping. <laughs> Oh, There's no way he's not escaping yeah. and signing up for a later. If anything, arc. I, I'm really glad if one part of what they decided to do with Sukasa, just for the fact that now Mirai is basically going to be his, you know, caretaker. So now I, I don't have to worry about Mirai. I don't think he's going to do anything in seasons to come. <laughs> he's just going to be, you know, <laughs> taking care of Sukasa. And I'm like, all right, that's good because I think last week I was saying like, oh, I really hate if she was like a key factor to the future, you know, with her yeah. name and everything. Oh, her name. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, but that's another thing we forgot to mention, dude. Uh, they confirmed third season. Oh yeah, Did they really. Yeah, yeah. 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 I forgot that. Yeah. The third um, coming out. Oh lord. That is the one thing. As much as I sit here and I complain of you know all the shonen tropes and, <laughs> and everything that it does, and nobody you know ever really dying or having consequences, I'll be damned if that final scene where we see this <laughs> new character encased in stone, I'm oh, yeah. hyped to see who that is. If that's going to be like uh, just now a I'm, new antagonist, or do you think that's going to be like a new antagonist, or do you think, think that's going to be, be someone who shares antagonist? Yeah. Similar... What? You guys can't mean to tell me that the last thing that they focus on is going to be the antagonist for the next yeah. season. Dude, because I know, it's, it's, it's going to be another like, like it's boy, obviously going to be a good boy. You know, yeah, it's going to be a good boy for sure. Yeah, there's already too many. Not, like, they, not, they already like, got too many good people through Sukasa. Like yeah, you gotta I, throw another. I, I, I think it's the show. The, the show is likes drama too much. Like they they can't just have like this discovery of science. They just it just gotta have some drama oh. in it too. Well, then what do you what do you think's gonna be this guy's stick? Like I oh. know it could be literally anything, but if you had to just throw a dart against the dartboard, what do you think he's I'm about? Thinking maybe oh, like I another. I think That's another I think. Like, genius type to rival Senku is the only thing I think of. Like, that would be fun too. Yeah. That would actually that's, I would that's what I'm that. thinking. It's a different that. genius type, but I'm trying to like rack my brain of like, okay, we have Sukasa that's like very might focused. You have Senku who's science focused, so it's like, all right, what can this guy? Are, I'm assuming, it, or uh, go ahead, I'm, go. Gonna, I'm gonna assume that he's gonna be a key component or key guy to figure out what caused the the stone. Uh, that's what I was thinking agent. too. Oh, I think yeah. yeah, I think he might be one one of the original. He might be one of the original scientists. Eat that uh from yeah the, the original stone. That's what I was thinking yeah. as well. The- <laughs> There's so many times where we feel like we should end the show, but I still this show is still so much fun to watch. 
I mean, I still like it. It's just sometimes you just like with Dragon Ball, right? I love the show, but sometimes the plot just makes you like shake your head, you know? Well, okay. <laughs> like, like I'm, I agree with Stray that like that Tsukasa was definitely like the worst part of the show. So, yeah. that whole I'm, fucking thing was worse. And I'm then Hoga. <laughs> that's all out of the way. I mean, we're not gonna see Hoga for a while, but he's gonna come in and ruin the show later. So we have at least like one more arc before that. Me. Maybe we don't know yet. Oh my god! Still hope that maybe he's, they just won't follow the he's just somehow like follow them all the way to the other side of the planet. Uh, with his own ship. Oh, that's that's so the name of the. Uh, this is going to be the exploration arc. That's yeah, I know, I know what I'm saying, but it's like, I mean, no, just in case you know, just didn't know. Um, just, that's oh, the, yeah. yeah. That's, that no, was I, called. I was I was saying that like we're not gonna well, at least at least we won't see Hyoga for this arc, but he's gonna show up. Yeah. Later, like like after they're done exploring, they're come back to Japan, and it's be like, oh, by the way, he'll escape, and now he has his own kingdom. That uh, okay. would be unfortunate. But I'm sorry. I'm I was just going back and I was looking version. at the statue again. Yeah. My, uh, the guy's uh, holding his hand up, ready to snap his fingers. So <laughs> reading too much into it. As much as I shit talk, I'm like, ooh. ooh what's maybe going this on is here? the new villain. It's Thanos in anime form. You know, yeah, he was just about to snap. Right? Yeah. I still, yeah, I, I still think, I think it's be, yeah, I think your point is definitely a genius archetype of some sort, which would be fine. Like, I would much rather have that over just brute strength because I don't want to see that again. We had this, we, I mean, we, have, we, have, we have Hyogo go for on. that. Yeah, yes. so, I mean, let, let's so, let's look yeah. at what we have so far and know what they're planning to do, right? So we already have a villain still. We have Hyoga. He's the only guy with a confirmed kill, by the way. Uh, he killed Tsukasa, so he is the villain of the show, oh, right? He killed those three people in that gas thing too. Um, at the well, bottom. he didn't really kill him. He just left them there as bait in a sense like he so didn't man, directly so kill them. Slaughter, he yeah. them right yeah right he but he's... Them, so hence he killed them <laughs> right so no, yeah they're, but... they're gonna be fine once they figure out the secret of petrification they're gonna bring them back in so nobody dies no, yeah no, that, that's, that's possibly back at the end that's what was it sulfur or whatever like they're they're gone man <laughs> i don't think their bodies are oh, sukasa oh, no, no, oh, yeah. no, no i was talking no. about the henchmen no oh, just no. kidding yeah. yeah so i don't really know how underestimated the powers of shonen Right, I, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, so so we have that, right? So we don't really need another villain. Hopefully, this is just another guy that'll help progress the story. Because now the point is, they're exploring to figure out how to uh, cause the petrification or what caused it to occur. So this has to be a guy that's going to help like progress that story. And the fact that they're on a ship right now, like it's obvious that they're not going to be Japan anymore. And who knows, like how long they're going to be out at sea? Because it's a very old school like wooden ship. So yeah, because they said they wanted to go to the other side of the wor- uh, of the world where it first happened. They sh- right. It shows it shows a wooden ship, but like they have a steam engine, so like they, they technically could make a, a steam a steamboat too. A I very was, a, basic one. Ba- basic well, I one. wonder though. I wonder if they'll actually cover that though in the third season because they made it kind of just skip a little bit just to show us like you know what the third season is going to be about. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they could easily just you know begin with the ship building, which I would be fine with. I actually, yeah, I don't think there's gonna be much with the ship. I think it's gonna be like one, two, maybe three episodes max of like building the ship, getting on the ship, and then getting to the new continent. I would actually say three is too much, uh, just because they they like to skip those things pretty quick. Right? Yeah, true, they they like yeah. to the steps mm-hmm. and then move on. I guess, I guess, I guess, I, I said steam engine, but I guess the only thing is like you need you need like so much like wood or coal to make it work. So I guess maybe we'll stick with just the wooden ship, just like from Age of Discovery. Yeah, so. I mean, like a sail is fine. That's how they did it back in the medieval times, right? Just yeah. A, a sail. But it, just, it, so it just takes so enough. much. It just takes so much longer. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I, I assume this would be a giant time skip. They're gonna go across the world on the other side. Um, yeah, I, I really don't see how this is gonna play out, but I don't I know. Like- I. I feel like we're going to shit on the show a lot more next season. Really? Oh, yeah, I, don't, so, I don't think it's ever stopping, but <laughs> I was like, kudos, yeah. kudos again for them for making me come back each week. Well, right, I actually thought right. that I was going to say that I think this third season will be a lot better. I don't think it could be as bad as this because especially if, if this guy is, um, if he does end up being um, like another genius, mm-hmm. I think it would be a lot more in, like entertaining to watch, like just like a scientist battle yeah. over. Instead I, have, of, I have more hope now that Tsukasa like, is out of, out of the picture. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, I actually think the third season will be better. Yeah, I think the thing that's just like crazy to think about is like this was two full seasons and they labeled it as the prologue. The prologue yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I know they, I, I think they did the same thing with Vinland Saga. So, but that was only twenty four. But yeah. I guess this was twenty four as well. So yeah, 
this is crazy. Like we really are in for some like not the epic first, odyssey the, of a journey. The first, first season, yeah. yeah, the first season's twenty four. This season was okay. So we're yeah, then, yeah. yeah. Which, which I gotta say, yeah. I didn't realize this for season's eleven episodes. Like, is that yeah. is that the new trend now? Like, we're, we're so overworked. Number. We're so overworked that we have to like reduce it down to eleven <laughs> episodes now. Uh, I don't know. Some have thirteen. Some has twelve. Some has twenty four. We, we so, have so like, much eleven <laughs> episode shows. Now, but it's definitely so it's, moved, yeah, it's definitely moved more yeah, to the eleven as of late. Like, I think it's, it's crazy. Just, like, you can get more shows out there, and they realize like I think people just jump that's, from things more to more. It's crazy. You don't have you know the the fifty, sixty, seventy episode epic. Dude, I, I miss I miss those fifty episode past. shows. Yeah, but well, the, the one thing is I think the only reason why this season was eleven is because they skipped the beach episode. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's there true. Uh, yeah. I, I think if anything, like there's just more animation studios too in the game now. You know, like the market well, is continuing to grow. There's also like shortage of animators because everyone keeps getting burnt out. So yeah. So which right. Is, it's I like, mean, okay. which is why that that outsource more. But like, yeah. But there's there's like less like veterans. So I think I think eleven episodes was enough though to cover this arc. For this, for this, it was fine because it followed a manga, so it had like, it had, you know, it had like story to follow already so that was fine but it's just right. crazy like like we keep getting more in these 11 episode seasons it's coming more common mm-hmm. and i don't know something i i want to see more right yeah anyway i i still really like this show even though we just constantly show it yeah it's still enjoyable <laughs> and i'm gonna be very hyped for the third season so that's, that's, that, that's all i really have yeah so we're gonna hit there for dr stone Looking forward to that next season. Uh, move on to our next show. Let's let's talk about Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh talk- man, oh, the man Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> our in-house specialist, Brian. <laughs> what did you think of this week's episode, Brian? Oh my god, dude! My feelings, <laughs> my feelings, man. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I watched it. Almost like three times. I was so like, really? fully. Uh-huh. I watched. I watched the fight at least like four times, like the full fight. <laughs> so the, I, th- the this... choreography, the soundtrack. Yup. Oh man, that's my that's yep. my fight of the year. Like, so Brian, like yep. I, I like, I was so hyped for the fight. I clipped it in our Discord. The the scene with uh, Nobora oh. and, and Yuji back to back. Like that was like my highlight yeah. of the fight. Because I'm not the, sound... like the biggest like metal fan either, but that music choice. Dude. Oh. I heard I, that soundtrack. Like, that's how you force me to listen to soundtracks because that's that's why I remember it because the the the, the choreography. So the did this fight? Did this was this fight better than like uh like AOT? My like did this? Did they have like better fights than like AOT did? <laughs> I mean, we didn't what? Have did AOT fight. have this fights? season? I would say yes. <laughs> I would say so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hundred percent. Okay, my yeah. bad. Get your ass out of here. Shredder. I don't know. Oh, I was just wondering. Bullshit, bro. Hey, really everybody's so hyped for AOT. Shredder. AOT, yeah. that's all you hear. So You're lucky that's... I dropped this right Otherwise, I'd be really bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was really random to add in, but sure. Yeah. <laughs> but back funny because Justin was saying it was like his favorite fight. No, whoa. The... I think I was telling Taylor too, like this show has easily been my number one. And maybe I'm biased no. in the sense of like, I know what's going to happen in Attack on Titan, but like, this show just like gets this me is, hyped like no this other. Is definitely it's like probably my, because I don't know what's to come, but this is definitely my favorite shonen, like or new shonen. Like like yes. I didn't know anything about it coming in and like it's really like like it just blew up. Just blew up, yeah. Yeah, it's uh I don't I, I don't think we're the only ones. I mean manga sales just flew like uh was it yeah. just a is Dude, it crazy? Every character is just so badass, and you yeah. you know yeah. you care about. It. There's no like side characters. It's like oh whatever. Like yeah, they're all, they're all know. very different. They were able to spend I mean plenty of time just going through a backstory to at least like for us to get that connection with those characters. Mm-hmm. I mean even uh, even that one guy that they uh, basically we all thought was going to be main of the like a part of the main po- uh, cast where we got to Junpei? spend a few episodes. With, yeah, Junpei. Yeah. And they, they 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 even have him in the end, and then they just killed him off. And then, like, like even like that That's guy, like, thing, yeah, really I can't forget, man. I still miss my boy Junpei. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, sacrifices were... have what could have been. What could have yeah. been? I was gonna say this week's episode too. Um, again, keep going back to Yuji and how at the beginning he was so like he was so desperate to not kill anyone, but then like here, like he's he has to come to grips with like like he's killed plenty of people now, and he's still trying to struggle with it. But he knows he knows that like he has to do it. Like he's not like. 
He's not trying yeah, to. Yeah, Dr. To... Stone. <laughs> he's got actual. He's got actual growth. Yeah, <laughs> and there like, are uh, consequences, but hey, that's rude. the way the so real I, world I, works. I really like that yeah. about like about his like the way they're developing this character. It's like he, I, even though he's still like struggling with the, with the choice, like he, he he's he knows he needs he's, to do it. Yeah, he's committing to it, and like yeah. he's just like he'll keep agonizing more, but he's just got to commit because he knows it's like what he has to do. Yeah, and I say too, I am such a big fan of just the you know callbacks to the Black Flash concept, where you know <laughs> both in this episode you have Nobara and Yuji both entering this state, and I love how I think every time that Black Flash has been brought up, it's always the dialogue where Nanami is the one narrating the oh, yeah. you know concept of like you know when the they zone. enter this, the this zone. zone. <laughs> I can't help but bring up Kuroko no Basuke because they have the yeah, zone in that as well. <laughs> But no, it's it's hype as hell. And like, I didn't know that uh, the Black Flash was something that like anybody could really enter in. I, I, I guess when we first saw it, I more thought like, oh, this is something unique to yeah, Yuji and his too. abilities. Yeah. But now that I've learned like, OK, that's something that all Jujutsu sorcerers can enter into. It's like, oh, fuck, like this is something really badass. I'm mean, I mean, I mean, Yeah, the possibilities are <laughs> even oh, her, so hype, dude. Like, even her, her ability. <laughs> Like her abilities, like it, at first, like, like I remember at the beginning thinking, like, what the hell is she gonna do with like just hammer and nails? And it's just like the way it's evolving yeah. to just create this craziness. I, I like, thought it was just more of a reliability because, like, you because I think just if she relies on a nail, it's, it's like it's like you know, a bow user, you're gonna run out of your arrow. So I, I'm yeah. thinking, like, she's gonna run out of nails. So what's she gonna do when she's out of ammo? But then, like, I guess that hasn't been an issue yet. So Dude, we, mm. still, we, still, we still never got that second hit with that squeaky hammer. Damn it! <laughs> never got to see what happened. Never let that go. Yeah, yeah. but no. Yeah. It, it, even like when she was like like stabbing herself with the nails with when she had that curse on her, where it just, basically the whole complete backfire. And uh, she's it was basically just like chicken, where she just kept uh, uh, driving the nails right into her arm. Arm, yeah. Dude, yeah. I just love the look of these main characters and like the sadistic faces like we saw it with <laughs> megumi last week when oh, he yeah. was going you know and then we get to see nobara like there are three or four faces that are just like she gives she could be an antagonist <laughs> with some of these faces she's pulling out yeah. like yeah it, oh it, man all, all, the, all well, the main cast is just really well, bad and, she, and she's mm -hmm. and she and she's like she's um was it she's not struggling with like the idea of having to kill people on like UG, like where she strips just said, like, yeah, I know we get to kill people, but it's our job. So yo, she's basically just like Sakura like move, bitch, get out the way. I'm the new, like, you know. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, right? At the very beginning <laughs> of the episodes, I was laughing pretty fucking hard. Cause when that like curse seal shit came up, I was dying of laughter. I was like, dude, this is Martha all over again. Orochimaru, where are you? Yeah. coming in, cursing these two. I'm like, oh my god, dude. I knew it. I knew it was, there was a connection. Right, man. I was laughing so hard. They're taking the from the OG, like, oh but they're god. making it. They're making it great. So yeah, dude. Oh, like god. it's oh. it's awesome, dude. Like to reiterate, like. I got under like later when they were talking about like having to like kill people and stuff. I can understand both sides. Like Nobara, she's over here saying like, if you're not a person that I particularly care about, I'm not gonna let it bother me. Mm. And then Yuji on the other hand, he's like he's literally trying to save as many people as he can. But then mm. like it yeah. just it just hurts yeah. him every time. It's like the people that we are killing, we it with like they have other people that sort of care about them too. You know so. Mm. Well, like in both ways, I can understand. She, I mean, she even mentioned like during like, during the fight as well, because uh, I don't think she knew that she was uh she was like in a sense killing a person until later on. Yeah. Yep. When she mm -hmm. she's like, oh shit, like that was actually you know an actual the person. body wasn't she, disappearing and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but she but she was able to like pa like you know kind of like move past it quicker. At least that's how we were seeing it. Because uh, right. Yuji was talking through his steps, basically how his like I don't want to call it grieving pro process, mm -hmm. but just right. like his thoughts kind of were going through the whole thing. Uh, I think the the key important uh, piece of that information wasn't the fact that uh, she was trying to like it was to show that she was able to get over the fact that even though it was like a human being like yeah. a physical body uh, that you know she was stronger willed because she was able to kill someone. Mm -hmm. I think they brought out the information is because I think her ability requires you to have some kind of physical part of that demon before yeah, you can it. before yeah. she can use her ability. Yeah, I think that's all that signified like, that during that moment. Yeah. I think the other thing, like we've seen, is like I love just how the villains are getting kind of more and more complex in terms of like their drives for what they're doing. 
Um, and admittedly, you know, when we do get the the prequel, it'll it'll unveil some information for some drives. So no further spoilers there. Oh, but okay. mm-hmm. um, I love too just like the small detail of when the two brothers die. The third brother Chosu is playing the game of life game of with Geto <laughs> and uh, Mahito, and it's just yeah. so fitting because you know they're the antagonists. They're these cursed demons, and they're playing a game you know of life. So. Mm. Yeah. Just kudos to to the author for just kind of, you know, yeah. these subtle deeds that he enters in and really just keeping everything like, <laughs> you know, top tier. Like, I don't think there's ever really been a moment where it's just like something's not been explained or something's just kind of been like really yeah. weak. Like everything's well, been backed not, up. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, not, not, not weak, but like we haven't really seen much of like the villains yet or even Sukuna much. But I mean, I'm not holding mm. that against the author. Like, I, oh. <laughs> I can wait for that till later. It's just like, it's not really been a focus this first like 24 episodes but i think that's fine so my little uh theory was uh completely out the window when i said like oh maybe like sakuna was gonna uh you know come like jump back in and basically have megumi eat the finger and then i was completely wrong no, basically just was just himself. saying oh don't eat the finger yet and then basically the hand goes and then it eats it anyway i was like well just munches it that's done <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, fuck that right oh. yep. yeah so uh that one didn't work out for me but you know yeah and then otherwise, we had the uh, the final moments where, one, Gojo is having uh, Mei Mei, the white-haired girl, like do some investigations, paying her a bunch of money to, to figure out who kind of the rat within Jujutsu High is. And mm-hmm. then um, I know it's Brian probably like, you know, the final scenes with uh, Toto and Mei Mei when they're talking to the principal. I was being... <laughs> screaming yeah, <how'd> <laughs> out of fucking high. I was like, these people are getting their dues, dude. When he said, and my brother, Yuji, I lost my shit. <laughs> it was hype. It was hype. I couldn't help, though, feel bad for the um, the cursed voice user. He's the only one from the second year class that they didn't nominate. Oh, for oh special yeah. first grade. That. True. So, shit. But I'm sure he'll get his own, hopefully. Hopefully he's not just written off, but I think so. I mean, he definitely seems like he has like the abilities to be a to be a beast, but I think it's more like the longevity because he wasn't able to really be in that fight for too long. Yeah, yeah with Hinami, he did have yeah. limitations for sure. Definitely, yeah. I'm sure that'll so. be something worked on. Oh yeah. man, no, oh, was, man. the show I'm is. Gonna, I'm gonna miss this show, dude. Same, nice. <laughs> Same, yeah. I mean, look, like I said, I went and read the damn prologue, and now I'm trying to stop myself from just reading the, <laughs> the, rest, the, the manga. The manga. <laughs> like, it's gonna be yeah, tough. Well, yeah, the prologue is, comes out. I know we mentioned at the beginning. Um, this, uh, the prologue is supposed to be set in Japan for to to release. Was it the winter? Winter. Yep. Winter. Okay. So most likely, we're not going to get a second season until after the movie at some point. So it, it's going to be a while. Yeah. That makes mm-hmm. it even worse, man. Yep. Yep. <laughs> wait, you're, wait. It said that. The next season is coming out in winter. No, no, no. They don't, no, they we don't know when. The, yeah, there's a movie. The prequel. The movie is in Kaisen 20, Zero. 2022 yeah. winter or 2021. Yep, the movie's mm-hmm. gonna be the prequel. 2022. Winter. So it's like it's January. It's like early early 2020. Oh, is it really? Okay. okay uh, gotcha. Yeah. yeah so. so then, hopefully, as we were theorizing, at the end of the movie, there's gonna be some information about the next season. Yeah, because I think mm. hopefully. Um, the manga didn't come out. It came out recently, like I think only three or four years ago or something. So I don't know how yeah, much. Yeah, it's fairly you know, new. Well, that was much, another like... thing. That, that that was another thing in the anime news where I think the didn't the the author say like there's two years left, or he can see it being done like in around two years. Yeah, he had some interview where he said like guess... he has you know kind of the ideas and concepts of where he wants things to go. He just mm-hmm. said like it could very well be stuff of like how do I get there? Right. There's, that like, would no, like, you know no, make it like, otherwise. Nothing firm. Or anything just like yeah yeah just, yeah. just him just, you know some rough ideas yeah but at least it's not something where he's like hey i have no idea where i'm gonna end like just you know stay tuned yeah so but again nothing set in stone yeah, yeah. this is another one of my top top uh top shows of the season though yep hell yes <laughs> yeah i think if yeah. anything it's definitely one that we all have to be very adamant with sasha to yeah oh to yeah I, we have to yeah I love, he'll love it I, that's I yeah I he, he will really like the show. We just All need right. Justin. To, uh, we just need Justin to yeah, speak. Yeah, don't worry. As his so. inside informant, I'll I'll sway him. <laughs> yeah. All right. So yeah, that, that'll be it for Jujutsu Kaisen. Hopefully, we see more of it in the future. Definitely, we'll go, go see the movie when it comes out. God damn, man, God, that's gonna be a lot. Give me that good stuff straight to my <laughs> veins, baby. <laughs> it's gonna take so long. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about our next show. Let's get it all out of the way, guys. We're talking about the final episode of Promised Neverland season two. <laughs> 
Oh, man. Again, Ooh. all I will contribute is to go read the goddamn manga. Like, what they've done is the worst shit that I have seen in recent years. So, Sasha, David, I will leave it to you guys and your guys' thoughts I mean, as, as anime only. I don't think... I don't think anything I say will matter, so I'll just give it to Sash. Sa I think he wants to. I think he'll, he'll, he'll bring it down. He, he was giving me a good feed, and so Sash will take it away. I must start off. Before I lead into Promise Neverland, I must talk about another show that will give context to my thoughts about the way Promise Neverland ended. There was once this show called My Hero Academia. Oh, okay. And <clears throat> at the peak of season four where they were battling a certain villain by the name of Chisaki or Overdrive. Is, is it Overdrive? Overhaul. Overhaul. Overhaul, thank you. Overhaul, enough, as he's though. known. There was an episode featuring a character where some very controversial things happened. And at the peak of this episode, My Hero Academia took the bold strategy of just applying a slideshow with very cheesy music to capitalize and capture on that epic moment. And as a result of that, I dropped the show. So all I must say is the fact that the last five minutes of this episode are simply slideshows of the future and how the promise was turned around. It basically Emma has accomplished her mission by being a social justice warrior to the fullest was so endearing, so amazing, such a magnificent and bold turn that made me want to take my own stomach and put it in a blender and ask that guy, will it blend? Okay, let's just, let's just talk about it. Um, everything was way too quick. Just like we've said, the whole the pacing has been atrocious. Um, the constant turns of character. I think I saw this on a, on a Reddit comment with Petri Dish cutting his own throat, but then the blade being completely clean. What was up with that? Um, his whole thing with his brother could have been a really amazing background and could have set up something for a for like a future season. It, we got it in like two minutes, and then he's just like, oh, "I'm gonna kill myself." I'll see y'all kids later. <laughs> like, okay, yeah. The uh, nuns with machine guns. Oh my gosh, I got no comment there. Um, go ahead, David. No, I'll just say, not gonna lie, I watched this in the background on my second monitor while I was doing other stuff on my other monitor. Honestly, so, that's all this season has I was been worth. Paying it's attention not been worth a main monitor. Because like, I know, I know, I knew I didn't want to talk much, so I, I, I just wanted to get it out of the way. So I didn't pay much attention to this last episode. Yeah, it. You could see how much potential there was for the story of the Promised Neverland. And there was a YouTuber, I'm sorry, I forgot your name, YouTuber person, that goes into the manga. And so I watched about 15 minutes of it because I still want to read the manga. But even just the 15 minutes of him explaining how the show transitions from going outside of the wall, it still keeps the core of what Promised Neverland is about at its focus. That was completely lost after two episodes in the season. And oh boy, just... The way things developed, um, the characters pretty much became caricatures of themselves. Nothing was at all justified or rationalized at any type of comprehensive logic that any storyteller could tell you about. It's like they just threw everything at the wall and said, you know what, we just want to end this. And unfortunately, unfortunately, Justin's worst fears came to fruition when he said, you know, guys, I'm afraid that as an anime original, they are just going to burn through everything and try to finish the entire show. And oh boy, was this the just worst possible ending. No, you hit you hit the nail on the head and everything that happened. And, you know, it's it's good to see your guys' perspective as anime only's and, you know, the frustration that this season has brought. And I think the further thing that really kind of really irked me is like, you know, at some point, I kind of had already, you know, written in a way that, hey, there's not much that can be salvaged here. But the real audacity is, as you mentioned, in those last final, like, five, ten minutes, there are things that they are referencing, without spoiling, that are arcs that they chose to cut from this season. And so that just, to me, is an even bigger slap in the face for... As anime onlys, you know, you guys can either probably read into it of like, oh, okay, there may have been something more at play there, but, you know, they're just doing this slideshow run through. But for a manga reader, like, that shit hurts even more. 
for you know you to sit here and have such great success with season one and you know build that hype going into season two and then just being like nah fuck it or you know even the author himself saying hey i'm, I'm overlooking some of the script you know writing for these episodes because i want to help and do things differently and he did nothing differently really if anything he did a lot of things much worse and really made it hard to you know sell the good parts because again the manga is great there are good parts there are parts that even from what we did see you know it does suffer from similar issues admittedly but why even show it in this you know slideshow format at the end like it just really bothers me because there are characters that they had left out for whatever reasons and then they have the audacity to show them in those last final moments so yeah. i know i know sasha you want that documentary that explains what happened i want it to like i really want it badly but i just don't ever see i don't think we're ever gonna know what's gonna happen stuff like, like stuff like yeah, this is like i think there's it's so because yeah because the industry the anime industry is so small like if anyone says anything like it's gonna burn a lot of bridges so unless it comes from like the people themselves like i don't see i don't think we're ever gonna know what's gonna happen what, yeah. happened, what happened here and I, I can't even foresee them like the fact of what stuff that they did show like maybe somewhere out there in some alternate universe they do create like a, a promised neverland brotherhood or something but it's so hard to really see where they really just put it in the dirt and the fans you know i don't think they can forgive for this really and i don't think it's something that i can't see anybody footing the bill down the road because even the author was involved this season so it's like if they didn't do anything special then you know well what's what's the point I'd also add to that that, you know, Full Metal Alchemist, the original anime, was not bad by any means. It was still a good story. It just wasn't canon, right? It wasn't from the source material. Full Metal Brotherhood, obviously, was the better show. But I would say they're comparable. I think yeah. Full Metal Alchemist can hold up to Brotherhood uh, in certain aspects and regards. My problem, or sorry, sorry, The Promised Neverland holy schmoly like that the season was just bad in no yeah. way subjectively or objectively can you say wow that was good besides maybe the animation but then that turned into slideshows too so yeah it's it's just so painful like so painful yeah i think i don't know it's like it's, it's like either it's like probably both of like of like the anime industry and that cover works just like how like even though like all this good intentions having the, the author on it, it's just like it's just, it's just it's all about project management. Like whoever like at like I don't know, like like they're just in over it's... in over their heads. Like I don't know, just even thinking about it, it's like because you want you you had the green light for one season, but it's like if you're gonna do something original, you you gotta like you would have to like assume that you would keep going further past the season because then you'd be skipping so much things from the original story. So I don't know, like yeah it just is one of those things i go ahead sasha no 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 feel free i was just gonna say it's just one of those things where you know i know we're not gonna get a documentary or any insider of unkind but i hope at some point you know down the road maybe in some sort of interview or something we do at least get some explanation because for something to really go off the tracks this much it's like man i would have loved to been a fly on the wall in these meetings or in the kind of the discussions of you know, hey, yep. this is what we're gonna do. It's, this is the roadmap. Like it's, it sounds like it's like one of those like things where like people are maybe like maybe people are too afraid to say no or something, or they or like they assume that like like this sounds hard, but we'll just do it. Like we'll 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 figure it out on the way. So maybe they're hoping that like it work out could work out. I mean, like that's could be one of the ways I think like how it just got through all this like at like with all like the red flags like that's the one of the ways i'm thinking they get through all this but yeah yeah it it makes me think of i think it was blade trinity so you had blade one blade two was great and blade trinity was supposed to be awesome and then you hear the production rumors that uh wesley snipes the guy who played blade mm -hmm. was not communicating with the director outside of just post-it notes that he passed back and forth with the production crew and it's like uh yeah that sounds pretty terrible so yeah. it there's probably a logical explanation for why things went down the way they did. But here's my question. It's very rare that an anime is successful. Okay, period. 
it's also very rare that an anime is not only a Japanese hit, but also a hit overseas. And with The Promised Neverland, you have something that has really taken off. And so season one was magnificent. Now, granted, I've heard the manga doesn't end on the greatest note, and that's as far as I know. But if, let's say, 80% of the show or the story is amazing, how do you mess up the second season so badly with so much on the line? Like, it just, it feels egregious beyond all measure. So Allah, that's the Allah. part that just disturbs me. I don't know if this is a full exchange, but like, because anime, um, the way that it gets funded, it's a lot of different companies investing a little bit of their own, having their own investments into this one project. So it gets divided up into a lot of different parts. So that's why a lot of times mm. they feel like they're not as attached to, to the project, and it's why like things. Get, it's a hard time. It's it's hard for a lot of anime to get second seasons because like they just put all their investment into the one this one project so um yeah okay so i mean i think your point it is those that's, things where it's like that's one part of the anime in this industry that's why like that's why i mean, I mean that's why there's a lot of criticisms about the industry like how broken it is because like this is this, this is one of the results i think i think it's because the way the industry works is a, a huge um factor in how like we got in this situation yeah i mean i think it's very similar in the regards of like game of thrones almost in a weird way where it's like, you know, you have everything going for you and then shit just hits the fan at some point And it's, you know, part of the, either the industries or, you know, these factors that come together that take something that on paper, it's like, you can't screw this up. There's no way you could screw this up. And then it happens. So. Sadness. I think the only, only way they could have justified changing things is if you had like a full Norman heel turn and he turns out to be the main nemesis for the season working with Isabella. I could see that and maybe like under Petri Dish's tutelage. I could see that working really, really well. But he would have had to stick or uh, stick to that role throughout the whole season, except, you know, he changed his mind. Like, and then I love how, by the way, I, I forgot to mention this. He has that like disease. And they're like, oh, yeah, we won't mention it at all if he's cured that disease, but he's going to go live happily ever after with everybody. It's like, what? Come on, man. Get out of here. Norman's dying. You're going to pull up my emotional heartstrings <laughs> like that? Yeah. And then just ignore it. Again, I wasn't paying attention. I was doing other things by yeah. their monitor. So I think, if anything, the one thing that, Sasha, you and I can agree upon is at least Phil got his, you know, happy ending. As long yep. as Phil, I... Phil made it through, it's it's okay. You it's not okay, but out. it's okay. <laughs> What's that one song where it's like, oh, you little kids with your pumped up kicks. That's oh, Phil. He has PTSD. <laughs> Starts oh, gunning down kids. Dang, man. Oh, Maybe that's been off the author's setting up. He knew how much the, the fan base loved Phil, and now he's really going to, you know, make it hurt. He's so. going to fill them up with bullets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, man. <laughs> oh. But again, yeah. I mean, it's definitely unique to see. I think, you know, it's obviously not the best case to happen, but it's a good, you know, thing to look back on and be like, all right, let's hope this doesn't happen again. Manga will be read. Manga yeah. will be read. Awesome. That's all I can ask for. So it's more than enough on my end. Yeah. So with that, we're going to conclude Promise Neverland. And then I guess um, we'll talk about my Hero Academia. I'm gonna try to do this more uh, spring season. I'm gonna just try to get more information about the show. So it's My Hero Academia season five. Uh, so we got Bones again coming back for fifth season as they've always done. Um, this is based on a manga by um, Kohei Hiroshi Hirokoshi. So he was the this is yeah this is a manga that he did, and then the two directors, um, the same ones that have been doing this for the past seasons. We got. Uh, we got Mukai and, and Nagasagi. So they're both back for season five. It's definitely so. going to be a very pretty season. There's, uh, without spoiling anything, there's a lot of fights that everybody has to look forward to. Okay. Mm. I'll just so. say, um, I'll say that because we have a, the movie coming out later. So I don't want another, another, um, part where focus was on the movie and the regular season had to suffer for it. So. <sighs> Yeah, if I could cut out the the, the little millions arc, so, like the best we'll, one. We'll see. Yeah. God, yeah. So otherwise, like I don't have much to say for this episode. So if anyone else wants to. Really, the oh, only thing you mentioned yeah. is just, okay. like the final. It's like the final thing we see at the end of it. All right. Um, okay. Yeah. So I guess yeah, it's just basically a continuation of 
the last episode from season four where we had the Endeavor and the Nomu fight. And oh, no, not even that part, but then uh, basically with uh, Hawk, Hawks. Yep, Hawks. With the little end where he basically was with, uh, with uh, what's that guy's name? Dobby. Dobby, Dobby yeah. <laughs> Can't disrespect just Justin's Discord picture like that. Oh, yeah, Dobby. Well, that's my, be fair, that's my, that's my man it. right there. But. That's my boo, bro. You better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's my respect. ride or die, man. Better yeah, talking shit about her. him. I just know Taylor was saying, like, people were going nuts, like, when they showed, like, that final scene. And I'm like, and she, she asked me, she's like, what do you think of it? I was like, yeah, this is whatever. I mean, you don't, yeah, <laughs> I don't you don't know. really know enough. I didn't yet. really think too much of it. Uh, to, to, to clarify what I said earlier, it was more just, like, manga kind of stuff rather than just from this episode. <laughs> Oh, yep. Okay. This episode <laughs> was just kind of underwhelming and not underwhelming, but it was just very much like a like a very light introduction into what to look for. Just a recap season. Yeah. again, like mm-hmm. what they do like basically every season. So yeah, yeah. Last like... season, what it was the guy with like the camera quirk ability. I don't know if uh, you guys remember last yeah, season. Yeah. I, didn't I remember, I remember that, that episode. I didn't remember that was the first oh, yeah. episode. So yep. Oh, was it the first? I didn't remember. I didn't yeah, know. I remember that pretty either. pretty sure. Yeah. 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 That's so, all I got. But, uh, but yeah, so, looking I, I forward like, to it. Is I feel like Dobby is is probably because you know how Endeavor was trying to like have the perfect offspring to carry on like his legacy in a sense, right? To have the ice and fire uh, help out each other to kind of like equalize itself in temperature wise. I wonder if Dobby is like like the failed experiment, and then maybe he has something against Endeavor because hmm. they both have fire, right? Like extreme ice, uh, firepower. I, was, so. I wasn't thinking about that. Yeah, I, th- I just think it was a I coincidence, think but about that. maybe. Mm, yeah i'm just i don't know i, I feel like i just feel like <laughs> Nothing to say here. Uh, i just feel like league of villains just like does hasn't been hasn't the league uh, of villains sucks they, only, like, they it, haven't like it, been relevant since ever since uh was a all for one i probably forget the, the word is all mm. for one one for all i probably it's, it's all, all for one one, all for, okay. one for all is for I'm sure it's one people. for all okay yeah all for okay, one is so one all guy, so, so basically ever since all for one like was like locked away so, like yeah just felt like League of Legends wasn't relevant, so maybe this season, hopefully, we'll see, we'll see them be, be more of a threat, especially with more of the no moves. So I don't know. League of Villains just seems underwhelming. Like they, they just see, besides like Dobby, the they all the only, they all just the, like they're the only villains we have. So have I know choice. I really I, and they have like that giant mountain dude, but that's about it. No, I mean I feel like with uh, ever since the Chisaki arc, or after the uh, what's that one guy uh, over call. No, not overhaul. Um, you talking about the muscle guy that Deku fought? No, not the muscle guy, but the magician guy with La Brava. I, I remember the oh, side chick. Wasn't it? Um, uh, well, like gentle, the school fest spark, right? Gentle, uh, gentle criminal. Gentle, 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 gentle criminal. criminal. Oh, yeah, yeah, gentle criminal. Right? I feel like after Chisaki and then like they introduced the like gentle criminal arc, uh, I feel like they were slowly trying to ramp up like the League of Villains, right? To where mm-hmm. they're actually more like sinister and you got to take them more seriously now that yeah. they have that that serum. Yeah, and uh, with with Dobie popping up at the end here, uh, Just call him or Dobie. Dobie. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Dobby. Uh, with, with Dobby coming up at the end there, uh, does it just kind of like uh, give you that reassurance that yeah, the League of Villains is back? We're we're, we're serious this time. We're going to be a lot like you got to take us a lot more seriously, right? Well, so. I mean, the, the normal they 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 unleashed was pretty strong. So yeah, I, and then they have the normal too. So, so yeah, I'm tired I, of the normal too. <laughs> I I, I kind of sense it from that. So. Like um, I don't know, I'm tired of the no moves. I really just I don't care about the League of Villains either. Like they just seem just really lame right now. They seem very uh, underwhelming, or, like underpowered. Uh, I don't know, unless something like something I assume will change to make me think otherwise. But uh, I, I don't the know. Preview, what that would do, the preview makes it seem like you, you should start caring more. Yeah, I, I don't. Besides, I don't know. Like I said, like besides Dobby and like the like the the main main guy with the hands. Yeah. I, I, like they, all the rest of them seem terrible. Like they just seem like they're they just seem very weak. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Um. I'll just say like for like fight wise, like I want to see like more group or team battles. Like I just feel like when you have this many characters with like so many different unique powers, like I want I want to see them if you get to get used. I don't want I don't want just to be like the Deku Bakugo and Todoroki show. So because even though that's even that's the movie, but. Like I want like all of class A to like to have a uh, like a nice like team comp or something. So see they do those, but then it always seems like the ending fight is always just Deku versus the world type of yeah. Uh, mentality. So, yeah. yeah. Typical shonen in that regard. Yeah. So, yeah. So we will see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
That's all so, good. So, yeah, that's the base Albania say for this Akira Academia. So. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so that's gonna be it. And then um I guess if we are wrap it up here. Um I'm gonna say before we wrap things up, um uh, shout out to Bottom Tier Tomozaki because uh ended this week. I still really enjoyed it. So um, Oh def- god, dude. Def- 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 Bottom tier is so good. Like, I recommend any it, it starts out slower, but yeah, definitely give give it a try. Yep. Yeah, then, yeah I uh feel like I should try that again. Because nah, like you, I you, are, you had your cancer. <laughs> yeah, I tried, man. You had your chance. Uh, and then uh, apparently, uh, was it skate was like trending for some reason? Like, I, like I saw it like really? on Twitter. Like, like Ricky was like, or R- Ricky, or whatever. He's like trending. Oh, so like I have no idea. <laughs> I what's going like, on that that kind of makes sense. So <laughs> for me, this yeah. this show, <laughs> what? I feel like someone has to uh, explain. I, yeah, uh, it's not even anything to really uh, explain. I guess like I. I I don't know. Like that's surprising to me that I guess so many people were that like in- involved in this character's like story. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, he yeah, he does have his his moment. I guess we want to call it that. But in terms of like again, skate is like a larger kind of like picture. It's kind of whatever. Okay. It's, yeah, but, it's, well, it's but why cool. why was he trending though? Like what happened? I mean, he still lost again. Um, but I mean, like he shouldn't have. <laughs> yeah, that well, too. Sounds, so basically, sounds like that's, that's why I was trending. trending. Okay. Yep. Yep. <laughs> basically, Reki is one of the main characters, and he's been dealing with some shit as of late. And this was kind of his resurgence episode, and that's mm-hmm. all I can really say. Was it? Yeah, was, yeah. was this the final episode or? No, no, more. Oh, left. another one. Okay, it was trending like wow. on Saturday it, when it, it, when it came out. So. I'll... Like I thought it was a episode or something. I didn't, didn't notice that. Yeah. Every every time that guy jumps off of it, like the uh, Adam jumps off his skateboard and just run Naruto runs and he gets ready to slap somebody with his skateboard. I just start laughing. I was like, "What the fuck kind of yeah. shit is that?" That is the worst just, piece of shit character so to bad. exist in anything. I then, fucking hate him. Like, I mean, he serves his role worst... really great though, which is good. No, no he's, he's, he's there to be hated. It would be the worst though if he does have that change of heart, which they are kind of trying to allude to of the one Butler character. But yeah. um, I don't want him to have any redemption arc. I don't want any of that. I just want like the part where he fell on his ass and people were laughing at him, even though I don't like like <laughs> said at that time, people wouldn't oh, actually great. do that. I was like, I don't give a <laughs> shit. I want everybody to point and laugh and make him feel like dirt. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Thing is, I hope he just felt stupid. Where he just just realized, like they're playing, they're they're uh, they're skateboarding, and this man decides to just jump off his skateboard and just tries to just drill the guy with the skateboard. Yeah, I mean, I think then, anything, the thing that's good for it is it, it's really you know pretty pretty animation, and I guess it's in it's in a niche uh, genre. You don't see many skateboarding you know animes right. when it comes down to it. So I guess I can see the praise mm-hmm. for that. But if like I had to you know rank it against everything, like you don't need to watch this show. <laughs> There isn't anything yeah. like, you know, okay. well, dude. Even with like, uh, like, okay, so this is the same course they're going, they're going down every single time. Yet they keep showing us new parts of this course. Like at the beginning with the uh, the the little kid and the uh, butler guy, where there was all of a sudden a part where he was just having to dodge a bunch of rocks. I'm like, mm-hmm. where the fuck was this like the entire season? And then all, all of a sudden they just went down a different path or what? Where did this? And then it, and then they just kind of you know never went back to it. But. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was just more of like that. It was just, it was it just felt like it was more for them just to flex their animation uh, muscles. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like what uh, this, sounds like what skate is just flexing their animation. Yeah, yeah but like that that, that scene was uh, it's, it was very well animated. But yeah, it was okay. Apparently. So so I thought I thought yeah, it was a finale. That's why I was training. So I guess we have another episode. Mm, no, yeah, we'll um, one more. Yeah, but so. Ricky's the only guy I care about. Though I really don't care about the the other guy that's considered the main guy. Mm. And then, mm-hmm. um, I was last trying, um, does Duro Camp end? Or in Not on Bureau? No. They, they end yet? Or? Uh, uh, not on Bureau ended today. I have not okay. watched the episode yet. I haven't prepared myself. Okay. <laughs> Euro so, Camp has one more episode, though. Oh, okay. So, so, so got another episode. Okay. So, and then there's think... one episode of Black Clover. Black Clover oh, ends yeah. this Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Thank God. <laughs> I uh, I can't wait for that day to end. Well, well, all right. For Black Clothes Defense, it's actually going really well right now. Okay, it's really interesting. Yeah, um, I just I feel like they're just they're almost. I I feel like Black Clover is almost doing like like the creator of Bleach, where he's just winging it almost. Mm-hmm. Where he he's just like every chapter he's just kind of building, uh, or he doesn't know where he's building. He's just building <laughs> to build, because right. the arcs have always happened the same way, where somebody invades them. 
they fight. Somebody gets taken away. They go then over there to get whatever or to retrieve whatever was taken. And it happens every single time where they just break into like like the Clover Kingdom with easy. Like no, nobody sees this coming. <laughs> they destroy everything and then they leave. And the small group goes then to you know basically just repeat. Like they've done that arc uh, or thing so many times. Except this time they have the demon. And then uh, yeah, that's 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 all. It, it, this, this show just needs to stop. All right. Uh, yeah. It's, it's that being cool. said, that being said, I'll watch the anime, and I still, and then I hate <laughs> myself for be, actually being interested in wanting to see where like this whole demon thing goes. Would you, would you watch mm-hmm. it in theaters <laughs> if it comes here? Absolutely not. What? Why would I have a movie? <laughs> oh lord. Yeah, even I wouldn't watch that. Well, yeah. Okay. No way. I can't listen to that because you know they're gonna do some just terrible comedy shit or try. Their their comedy is awful. I I, I don't think I've ever la- laughed once in this show. I, I can't. It's it's just it's so it's All so right. bad. All right. Good to know. We're going to that note then, so well, thank everyone for joining us today. I think technically we'll have, I mean, I guess technically last week's the last big winter, but we have so much shows airing this weekend, so we're going to be premiering new shows for next week as well, so look forward to that. Yep. It'll be, it'll be pretty crazy. Yep. So, well, I thank, thank the audience for joining us today. Thanks, guys. Always enjoyed talking to you. Thanks for chat. Thanks for yeah, the YouTube thanks, everyone. comments as well, everyone. Yeah. And then I want to thank the panel for joining me this week. Thanks, guys. A lot of fun. A lot of, a lot of discussions for a lot of our season finales, but always, <laughs> always fun. Yep. I'd expect nothing less at a season's yep. end. <laughs> yep. You know it. We'll, we'll see you guys next time. Uh, Bye. Oh, Bye. Bye. Bye.